So are we ready? I think so. I mean, if this is if this is who we're rolling with, and then I say we just started off. Um, we we may not really know exactly who we're gonna have before. I kind of had a different starting point in mind, um, but I think we may just take it straight from the top. Let's just treat it like it's a a brand new kind of thing, and um, yeah, no big deal. So, okay. Everyone here? I think we're all here. Uh, did you guys get your webcams figured out, though? Yeah, I did. All right. Let me see your beautiful faces. Here, I'll move my camera up. Uh, can I not move my camera? I guess only GMs can move it. Uh, Where you want to go? Uh, just put me top right. Equal. Like to Bronson, that way we have a nice diamond. Wait, that's not a diamond. Square! Th thank you. I know shapes. There oh, we there's two, right? Oh, uh, John, did you look at your character sheet? Uh, yeah, I did I give you proficiency in cooking, by the way, as a skill. When choosing through the things, that was a thing. Or did I give him cooking tools? I there, there was something about cookings on your character sheet, like that was in hey, the. How do I turn off uh, sound for roll twenty? Oh, click. Okay, click on the the little wheel cog. Go down, and under capturing, like video, audio, chat options, you can make it where it's video only for broadcast and receive. Yeah, you'll want that. Okay, and then I think yeah we're uh oh I don't need this yep hang on We go. Look at all those happy, shiny people. Happy days. Happy days. Uh, all right. Well, gentlemen, it is six oh three. Let's do this. All right. Hang on. Okay. We go. Ready? There we go. I'm ready. You ready? I got. I got my, my little guy here. Got it. You go, watch out! Into the webcam. Don't know that I have... Don't know that I have any weapons in my office. I uh, I, I couldn't I find my... Weapon. I have a battle axe somewhere, and I couldn't find it, because that more fits my character. And I was like, the only other option was my Glamdreen, and I was like, but I'm not using a sword. So I went with this antique 1965 logging trophy. Nice. <laughs> Ordinarily, I do have bows in my office that I've made, um, but I took them home because I had a neighbor that was asking about them, so I, I do not have those here. But otherwise, I would have long bows. Nice. So. I am playing a druid this time, and I don't have a lot of props for that, but I do have uh, stuck Owlbear, my seven-year-old daughter made me. Perfect. <laughs> Just in Arch for me. I, so basically, the only person that's actually 100% ready is John's character, because his weapon is his fists. Nice. Although I did give him a quarter staff also, just because it was like, you know, that seemed fine. I love playing Monk. That's my favorite one. I have far. never done a Monk build in d d It's my favorite by far. It would 100% become a Krillin build. I can't do Goku, but it'd be a Krillin build. You know, maybe, or maybe Tien. You know, but sure. maybe next time. I don't think I can be trusted, though, as a monk, because there would be just it'd be way too many fisting jokes. Um, So 
I'm going to be the bigger person and just kill people with uh, hammers instead. <laughs> it's hammer time. Probably, probably safe if you, uh, if you if you can't be trusted as a pugilist, <laughs> then stick to what you know. St bashing, right. All right. All right, we'll just go ahead and take it from the top. Let's do this. In the city of Neverwinter, a dwarf named Gundren Rockseeker has asked you to bring a wagon load of provisions to the rough and tumble settlement of Phandalin. A couple of days travel southeast of the city. Gundren was clearly excited and more than a little secretive about his reasons for the trip, saying that he, that he and his brothers had found something big, and that he'd pay you ten gold pieces each for escorting his supplies safely to Barthen's Provisions, a trading post in Phandalin. He then set out ahead of you on horse along with a warrior escort named Sildar Hallwater, claiming he needed to arrive early to take care of business. You've spent the last few days following the high road south from Neverwinter, and you've just recently veered east along the Tribor Trail. You've encountered no trouble so far, but this territory can be dangerous. Bandits and outlaws have been known to lurk along the trail. So you've spent a few days uh, on the road in this particular wagon uh, with one another. Uh, now, if you have not done so already, would be an excellent time to sort of introduce yourselves to one another. Uh, you're going to be together for a little while. So, who are you? All right. Uh, my character goes, Hello, fine gentlemen. I am Landry of the Order of the Sun. Blessed day to all of you. I am a traveling paladin on my way to visit some of my brothers in the Order of the Sun. May the light shine upon you. And I have a big grin on my face. And every time I say this, I'm pointing to like an emblem of a sun on my thing, like Order of the Sun. Hello. So if you, if you looked at how many suns are on Landry, that'd be just as many bears on Bronson. Okay. There's very comparable amounts of per bear paraphernalia okay. on Bronson. I like it. Uh, uh yeah, but Bronson, a uh, little uh, bearded, which is not very common for Goliath, but a large individual with lots of bear paraphernalia. Now, of the bear paraphernalia, is any of it like, is it like, are we talking like fur paraphernalia or like, more like, so, like, so that his only cosplay? His clothes, are bear fur. his clothes are bear fur. Okay. Right? He'll have a bear totem, right? The little... I would say more Native American style totems, right? But uh, yeah, I mean, some henna tattoos, temporary stuff for right now. I'm just filling it out. War paint. Not too permanent. Yeah, war paint. Big commitment, yeah. you know. The Coco Um and uh, and uh, Pocahontas had that little bear call thing on his chest, something like that. <laughs> All right, I like it. And he's a big guy, so he's probably. If we're on a wagon, you're taking up a lot of the wagon. Ra rather large. Right on. At at some point, I feel like my character probably challenged you to. You know what? I want it. first roll. I want it to be this. My character looks at you, and says, "Hello, Broadson. You are a sturdy fella. By the for the glory of the sun, I challenge you to an arm wrestling contest right now." Yeah, sure. I'll give it a go. I don't plan to win this. But yeah, sure. I just want to be able to keep on my character. He's a little, you know, obviously like, um, at least for right now, he's a very happy guy with his order of the sun and is a bit of a showboat because of it. You know, he's like, he, um, he takes his order and his position as a member of the order of the sun very seriously. So, um, he wants to be able to say that the, the light compelled him and that he beat a giant in an arm wrestling contest. Or failed uh, miserably. I mean, I would say you get to roll first on that one. Oh, who is the highest initiative? I want the. I want. I mean, it's, it's you. an arm wrestling competition. You it's not like okay? It. All right, let's roll together. I'm afraid. All right, All right. first roll d20. I'm assuming, right? D20. With... Now, are these numbers next to it? Just make it two d20s, or is that d20 plus two? So, hold on. Let me take a look at your character sheets here. Um, yeah, I mean, you would definitely include your strength mod. So you have a plus no, two, and I have a pl plus three. So the the uh, the roll sheet on roll 20, it has a you know, sign that says D20, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, that's the number you're rolling. 
So is that two d20s I roll if I push two? Yes. So just click oh, one. Sure. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Eleven. 13. Four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. Yep. I. So how does this look? Oh, dungeon master of. Uh, I mean, I tell you what, I'm going to let Bronson determine how that looks, oh. because you're the one who just embarrassed the sun, so. Mm. Just, it's going to be an eclipse just, tonight, boys. There was very little effort or even caring about this at all. It was, <laughs> you who's really distracted uh, by, like, looking at something else, and you're like, I challenge you, I'm like, yeah, whatever, man, cool, and, and then, like, boom. That was it. How about this? I say, I challenge you, and I say, by the order of the sun, I shall beat you, and I look directly into the sun and go, ah, I can't see, and then you just slam me. Ready? <laughs> Boom. All right. Cool. Game over. And then I go, All right. and Fair I just enough. look, like, just almost disbelief. That's how could I have lost? Like, my, uh, and I go, ah, oh. I know, right? And I go, ah, oh. the light has humbled me. Great job, sir. I think that's my character uh, intro. Where are you all? This is happening. <laughs> Guys. So, John, where's, where's your character when all this is happening? So, um, my my character is just uh, chilling in the in the background, just watching everything unfold. <laughs> okay. Okay. All just right. meditating. So, are you sort of introducing introducing yourself to the group, or are you just kind of laying back and uh, I'm just here for the ten gold at the end of this ride? Uh, I'll, my character's just um, just um, ob observing at the moment. Got it. Okay. What does he look like? So Venar is in the wagon. Uh, am I to assume that the two of you are up front? Someone has to be driving this thing, of course. Probably me. Uh, Probably okay. me. So you guys are both sort of up front and just sort of out in front of the wagon. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Sounds good. So you have been on the Tribor Trail for about half a day, and as you come around a bend, you spot two dead horses sprawled about 50 feet ahead of you, blocking the path. Uh, each has several black feathered arrows sticking out of it. The woods press close to the trail here with a steep embankment and dense thickets on either side. I uh, bring the wagon to a stop. Just, whoa! Why, when I, Yep. Um, and, uh, I look, I, I shout out to the back since, um, odds are n not everyone sees it. And I say, there seems to be something blocking the path. Yeah. Way to go, Einstein. Let's go look at it. <laughs> Excellent idea. All right. Let's get a little bit closer. Um, you notice that the horses, you can tell that they were the same ones that Gundren and, uh, Sildar had taken a few days earlier when they set out before you. <laughs> Um, so you recognize those horses, and of course the arrows are the thing that have killed the horses, of course. Um, and you, you sort of uh, notice that the saddlebags on the horses have been looted. And there is a leather map case that is nearby that you remember Gundren was kind of holding it unusually close to himself on, on more than one occasion. Um, you know, not like hugging it and stuff, but he just, he never really let it out of his sight. And there's, it's empty at this point in time. It's kind of laid out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Uh, my character wants to, I would like to do, um, uh, would it be investigation or insight into seeing if I can determine what is the make of the arrows sticking in them to determine uh, what. Be well, uh, either investigation, perception, something like that. Okay. Insight or not determining motive. Um. Investigation, perception, or in can it be performance? <laughs> yeah, no. Dang it. Okay. Uh, screw it. I have a negative one at all those things, but insight. So, but whatever. So I'd like yeah. I'll, it's, uh, While he's doing that, can I do a perception for where where the arrows? Eighteen though. Come from? So seventeen. Oh, nice. Okay, so so what is it you're trying to find? I, I want to know what is the make like. Uh, 
you know, typically how most races and people have a specific, like basically what type, what, what made these arrows? Like, is it goblin right, yes. or and human? That these are, are very crudely made arrows. Um, you know, even your, your regular bandit has a certain level of craftsmanship um, that these do not quite meet. Um, they are made of essentially just kind of sticks that are mostly straight. Um, the, the fletchings um, are, Essentially, just you know, regular raven feathers, and they're they're all tattered and and just sort of crudely sewn on. Um, and and the arrowheads themselves um, are just you know napped rocks, nothing, uh, nothing elaborate, no steel, nothing of that sort. And so you sort of deduce um, that you're you're most likely dealing with something like goblins or or some more uh, primitive, all right, kind of creatures there. Okay, Bronson, what was it you were looking for? You, you uh, said you just question of where the arrows came. See if they're still there, pointing bows at us. I think. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right. Uh, do me a favor, roll. Yeah. Look at my perception real quick. All three of us gather around a dead body. <laughs> Don't look around to see if the person's there. So <laughs> uh, You know, it's something you gotta check real quick. Yeah. My perception. I mean, it makes plus... sense, right? Perception is plus four, so twenty-two. Yep. Just looking for like arrow flight path where they'd be there. If not, we're cool. Did you yeah. roll? Okay. Oh, is that that's you? I'm sorry. Yeah, I was like, I, I don't I see you rolling. I'm like, well, I mean, right. I would love to give you my roll, but I wasted sure it. A plus four assessment though, but okay, okay, one second, one second. You have a plus four? Yes, I do have a plus four. Yes, yeah. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I mean, I got plus five in some things, so. Yeah, well, yeah. druids are very wisdom based, which goes to your perception. Yeah, right. and it, it if you're trained in it, you get an extra two. So, <sighs> which he is. When it comes time for me to do some, you know, some charisma based stuff and strength, I'm I'm like, all right, let's do this. Oh, it says rolling the dice. I don't know what the holdup is. Oh, is it not rolling? It says rolling the dice, and now there you go, twenty. Net okay. 20. Ah. All right. Uh, just to throw up, I probably hit that button like four or five times. So it might pop up with more. Come on together. We'll take 20. Yeah. Do you have 3D yeah. dice enabled, by the way? I don't. I don't want it to either. <laughs> oh, no, because then it shows on our screens. It's so fun that way. Oh, okay, it's probably catching up now. No, the 20 counts. Um, so yeah. you, in, in the process of looking at the the arrow you know in your mind you're running all these calculations you notice all the arrows are coming from generally one side here um so you you know exactly that they're coming from um the the side to the right of you um and and instinctively you know that you are no longer alone um they there are you, you sense people in the bushes um yeah you you know that there are, there are goblins still waiting there Okay. okay. Um, my movement will be put my the we're a cart. We have a cart, right? You do. Cart yeah. Me, me and the bushes, right? And say, hey, we're not alone. Okay. So when you say put the cart between you and the bushes, like you're going behind the cart, cover and possibly concealment. Okay. 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 So you're moving yourself, not the cart. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was gonna be my question. Is like. So, so they're no, in the I bushes to the right of us, right? Correct. Um, yeah. Like, how far away are we from the cart? Like, did um, because I said stop it as soon as you said, but I, I was assuming that cart was probably like twenty feet away from the body. Like that. We'll go with that, yeah. So he's running back. I mean, that's in his movement. So he's running back to the cart, and the goblins right. are directly in the bushes, basically from the dead horse. Yep. Okay. Yep. So um, the goblins know that they are, they have been outed. Um, but let's go ahead and roll some initiatives. Yeah, you got Those that free forward. movement, Bronson. I smart move. I will give you guys uh, essentially first actions here. Okay. On this one, they were kind of biding their time. Seventeen. Waiting. I got a seventeen. Uh, uh, no plus for initiative. So, okay. that was your total. Mm -hmm. 
John, what about you? Uh, so... Just roll a d20. Oh, it says click to and drag to roll the dice. That's a confusing one. Yeah. Using a 3D model. Oh, you don't have to drag. You can disable drag. I just click. Oh, right. I just like to see the three. I just like to see it on the screen. It looks cool. Okay. And the sound effect of sounding dice. John, let me see if you have any... He the... should have a plus, like, three to initiative. He should have plus three. All right. I think, yeah, I was yeah. like, I made his character sheet. I'm pretty sure it's a plus three. Yeah. John, Roll20 still doesn't like you, does it? <laughs> no. No, it's okay. But I think it's because I've done the, the click and drag. My first time using the 3D model. Thing. Yeah. But See, it was a bad gonna... drag, guys. Bad drag. He just, it was like a drop. Okay. Um, All right. So, as I said, you guys get first uh, first dibs on a round. Bronson, you have already sort of gone, which uh, I'll let you sort of supersede order here um, because you were the one to make the discovery. Uh, Landry. All next right. Up. I am going to uh, just kind of – let's see uh, how close am I? Screw it. I am a man of action. I am a man of the order of the sun. I – Need to see what I can do, but I don't have any. I don't think I have any spells yet. You do not. I no, believe. not until level two. Or right, I don't know what level I get my. Yeah, I'm not doing that one. That's okay. Um, let's see. I I'm trying to think, what can I do to see them? Because I don't. They are not. Are any outside of the bushes yet? Do we see any of them? No. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I need to see. That's the pro... Yeah, uh... Okay. I mean, you know which side they're on. Yeah, all right. Oh, man, that's... We are in a bad spot. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my infantry training and be like, all right, in the event of an ambush, yeah, you either break away or you charge. So I am going to... Uh, raise my shield and charge straight into the bushes and I want to take out my war hammer and just do a big like clearing motion um, I would say I don't know attack with disadvantage or something like that basically just because I don't see them just right where the arrows were I mean you're essentially just attacking the bush pretty so. much I'm just I'm just okay. I'm just I am trying to just sure roll it up shield raised sure. Charge. Are we saying what? What will that be? Just a yeah. Just give me an attack roll. I mean, I, I, you're you're essentially attacking the bush. That is a sixteen plus three because of strength modifier, okay. right? So that is that's a enough. nineteen. Yeah, that's enough to hit a bush. <laughs> um, Thank you. Do I hit anything so in the bush? <laughs> Though is my question. Um, you hit the bush. <laughs> Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm you swinging with, the bush. I'm swinging with a war hammer. So yeah, no. Um, you hear this sort of thud and then a yelp as uh, as you see this small goblin form come sprawling out of the bush. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll some damage. Okay. So that'll be a D8 plus three for damage. So that's six. All right. Yeah, All yeah, because right. I'm one-handing my my warhammer. Gotcha. So six damage. Um, okay, so the the goblin uh, essentially is sort of thrown out onto the road uh, in front of you, and it sort of lays there lifeless on the street before. The other one, however. Um, so, Venar, um, am I saying that right, by the way? Yeah. Venar? Is that the, the correct pr pronunciation yeah. of your character's name? Okay. Um, so you were in the cart beforehand. What, where are you now? What would you like to do? Um, so, I think, um... I would like to roll for perception to see if I can see where the other goblin is. Okay, so you're coming out of the cart? Yeah. Okay. 
All right, go ahead and roll it up. Okay. Here we go. Five plus. I think you had, what, four in there? Um, I mean, that's good enough. That's good enough. So you uh, you definitely see, as as the brushes are kind of pulled to the side and the other goblin is, you know, jumping forward, you you see the form of another goblin in those same bushes. Yeah, he has a plus four perception. That's... Yeah. So, yeah. I got your character sheet up, too, now. G G Sean, if you... Don't have it. Yeah, I've got my character sheet up. Good, good. It's a bit more than the last system we played, but it's it's not too hard. Just it's just yeah. you just add the number. It'll actually tell you every action, like to add. And I can forward you other stuff too, but cool. All right. So what's All he right. doing? Sorry. Is there anything else with uh, with that action? Jim what else would you like? Base. Jim in the base. Um. So I would like. <laughs> To move towards the bush. Okay. All right. Um, so you run towards the bush. As you do so, um, that goblin takes takes note and lets loose one of his crude little arrows. Let's go ahead and make sure I'm getting everyone here. Oof. And, ooh, okay. Um, Never a good sign. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not, not bad either, but not good. Okay, all right. Um, what do you roll? He's going to hit you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm rolling on this side of the fence here. Yeah, you can disable the GM roll and then enable it when you want us to see and not see. Right. Not no, safe. I mean I've got I've got a roller here. Nice. Um okay. Sorry, I'm uh, checking something to make sure this is gonna absolutely just cleave you. Um yeah, I mean uh, so you'll take six. I mean you, you Yeah, you just take one straight in the chest. Oof. Uh, Venar does. He's... It was a natural twenty. Oh, on the he... wall, and then it straight up full six on the uh, the damage die. That would have been a tw add... oh the crit. Oh, they critted you, John. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even add like extra damage dice or anything like that. That's okay. Just... Uh, <sighs> hang on. Does he have a? How close was he when the guy shot him? Mm -hmm. How close was John when he got shot? Uh, I mean, just about point blank. Could he attempt to grapple the guy as he's shooting since he has the grapple ability? Not as a reaction. That's going to be yeah, a reaction. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that would, that would still require like rolls and things and there would have to be intent. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, jumping back now into the actual order. Um, so, Landry, that's going to come back to you again. To me? All right. Yep. Um, I am going to. Okay, so there's still the two goblins, or how many goblins do we know of now? One that you know of. Okay, and then John's on the gr is three hit points left of his. Um, yeah. uh, I could heal you, but I only get it one time, and we I don't know if we'll rest, so I might have to. I might like do I risk another chance? Uh, all right, the one got I can see one goblin though pretty clearly, obviously, right? The one I yeah, hit. I mean, you, you you obviously at that point in time you saw him draw a bow and you saw an arrow come out of the bush so okay even if you didn't see the goblin you have a pretty good okay it's not I, that so a uh do is that the same one that i know i hit at least that i think i know i hit no the one that you hit is dead on the road oh i killed like it you, you yeah you knocked him oh, out i didn't of the think bush. i killed him okay oh okay okay um all right in that case then my guy's gonna probably assume there's only one left and um as uh seen um 
my com traveling companion get hit, I'm gonna yell, Have no fear, traveler companion, I shall avenge your injury. And I um, am going to take... The real defining, defining the relationship moment, where you know it's called. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Traveling <laughs> companion, whose Go name there. I definitely know. Very... You random citizen. I think, I um... You. Have you watched like Seven Deadly Sins? I can't say that. Okay, uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, not much anime for me, but other than maybe Dragon Ball Z sometimes. Okay, fine. I'm Veg I have the arrogance of Vegeta, basically, in terms of like I am amazing. <laughs> I believe in my I believe in my own hype of charisma. Nice. I am the center of the universe, as minus the sun, which I worship. You know, um, anyway, I'm going to go and I am going to swing at where I think that last one is with my Warhammer again. And uh, this time I actually want to swing with, t can I do it with two hands without it changing action? Uh, I mean, or because I know sometimes, are, are we are saying doffing your shield? Because that would be an action or is that a, that's actually a bonus action, right? So, so doff is not a full action you can you can take something off like you can just drop something without i just want to put it like by my back like sling it or just hold it like you know can i do that with still taking the action or is that a separate you can't swing with a shield strapped to your arm if that's what you're trying to do captain america would disagree um <laughs> no uh like can i as my bonus action put my shield behind my back or just straight up do it and then hold my Warhammer with two hands? Or do I need to do that separately is what I'm asking. Uh, I mean, you would essentially be just kind of dropping it on the ground. It, it's... Yeah, I don't want to like, drop it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, it all depends on, like, how you have the shield. Is it, is it the kind that is strapped to your arm? I mean, like... It's... Taking them off is a little more complicated than... Yeah. Okay. Just like, all right. I'm just... Yeah. I'll just one-hand it then. Uh, I'm just going to... Uh... Go to where I see him, and I am going to swing that old Warhammer again at the Goblin. Hit me with them dice. That is a 12. Okay. All right. Does that um, hit? That hit? 12. That should hit. Go ahead and uh, give me some dice. Give me some, some damage. That is four damage. All right, you hit the goblin, and he, um, seeing his precarious position, uh, begins to give or take off in the direction behind the bush. Okay. Um, so he scampers off into the distance. So it would come to, let's see. It just says bonus action. I can switch to two weapon fighting. <laughs> on my character sheet that's i'm just looking at that just for future reference oh question as a reaction can i take an opportunity attack on the goblin running away from me i do have opportunity uh, attack no damn it can i throw <laughs> all right so hold on let me see what you're, what you're talking about here uh under bonus actions in combat it says two weapon fighting because of my versatile trait of my weapon so that's just i because uh, so that's why i i, I just want to i think because i know like with versatile weapons you can switch between one to two hand when using a shield i just want to know like okay do i have to pre-switch basically or can i do it between turns no so typically and i'm I'm not able to see the actions portion of your character sheet for some reason now um oh do you want the versatile weapons okay here we go yeah yeah it's just so, you can see what you're looking at here at least as far as i'm aware like you can you can switch between one and two-handed in combat but i don't and yeah i mean t so typically if you're switching from a, a like say a long sword if you're gonna go from using it one-handed to using it two-handed um it there's an implication that both hands are free yeah and you are just simply grabbing it with two hands and swinging it um in your case you do not have two hands free like you have one hand holding a shield yeah um so you have to free up one hand in order to do that. Now, if you do want to have the ability to kind of go back and forth between the two, um, with like a yeah. bo with like a bonus action or something like, I, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't even 
I'm, I'm not even sure why it has two weapon fighting. Oh, oh okay, I know what it is. Yeah. I'm just thinking so, like Boromir okay. style where he has his shield on his back or he has his shield in, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. in his yeah. hand. So what they're talking about here, when, when it's talking about two weapon fighting as a bonus action, if you have one weapon in one hand, one hit weapon in the other, your your primary hand melee attack is your standard action. Your bonus action is your all hand oh, attack. Okay, so it's not two handed weapon. Typically when I Correct. see that, I'm just used to it being like it's dual. Two weapon fighting. Got it. Yeah. Weird. I have no idea why I have that because okay. I, but okay. All right. Well, I mean, anyone anyone that's holding two things can do that. It's it's not. I'm actually kind of curious why they even have it there. Yeah. Uh, it. Yeah. It was. Okay. Ninety percent uh, of the time, I'm going to use my shield, though. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it's on Venar as well. I mean, it's probably on okay. Watson as well. Cool. Cool. Something they do. Yeah, it's on everybody. So it's just. It's on the character sheet for whatever reason, just because it's technically something that everyone can do. Interesting. Um, okay, that's that's cool though. Yeah, it, I mean, and and your offhand weapon, if you're not, if you don't have some sort of like fighting style or anything that gives you proficiency in that, um, everyone can do it. But you don't get like your attack modifier. Um, well, you get your attack modifier, but you don't get like your damage bonus. So if you're like strength based, you'd get your plus strength on the damage rolls or uh, primary hand. You won't get it on your offhand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you have, like, a... Until you unlock that in, like, a skill tree. Correct, yeah. If you have something that specifically states otherwise, then yes, that, yeah. that will change that. Um, whether you have, like, a two-handed fighting fighting style, um, which certain classes get, and things like that. So. Um, yeah. Nice. Okay. okay. So the goblin does run off. Um, Bronson, it technically comes back to you, but at this point in time, there's sort of a lull, and you guys can can kind of do what you want at this point. Um, so start yeah. moving these horses out the way, huh? What was that? Or I, if, if I feel safe, pretty much I feel safe, like uh, Landry came back pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll start moving horses out the way so we can get going. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you you feel you feel everything's all right. Um you know, as you sort of move, look and move the horses, um, one of the things that you do notice, however, is you notice there are some drag marks, um, some significant drag marks, and there's a, a small amount of blood uh, that sort of trails off the road, sort of in the direction of where the goblin was headed. Again, you recognize these horses as the ones that had Gundr um, uh, Gundren Rockseeker and uh, Sildar and... So you, you pretty well recognize the you know the trails kind of on the ground um, of being the dragging of human bodies. Um, looks like there was a bit of a scuffle, so it could be a little bit of anything. Sure, I'll, I'll put your group. You guys want to continue on the trail, or do you want to go after this guy? Uh... Let's see. Um... Again. Either way, we got to get moving because if he's maybe <laughs> right. reinforcements, we might begin reinforcements, or we might, you know, we just need to get going. Let's see. Um. So the drag marts are not down the road; they're off to the right, like where the goblins ran away from us, right? Well, I mean, that's where they lead. Yeah, they okay. they go from where the horses are dead. You, you notice? Okay. Something and... was dragged away from this this particular scene. We have a we have a difficult choice to make, my friends. We either continue our mission, or we see the cause of, or the victim of this heinous act of these vile beasts, these goblins. What say I you? Think we just, I think we just Charlie Mike it and just keep going, and just like, hey, that's a. That's uh, tomorrow's problem, not a today's mm. problem. Um, can we see right? how? Um, okay. Uh, can I? Do we know how long the horse has been dead? Did Did we know that? Um. You You don't know that. You do, however, know that it's only been a couple of days since, like Gundren and Sildar, went ahead. They're only about two days ahead of you. So. All right. Um, okay. Can tell you how long they've been dead? For, for was meat that? purposes? <laughs> no, for meat purposes? You want to eat the horse. 
effort. This is survival check. Maybe nature. Most likely survival. Okay. Probably I, survival. I mean, okay. Realistically speaking, you could probably assume about two days. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you were oh, heading, yeah, probably... Go fan. Yeah, the, in fact, it may even be a little longer. They're probably traveling a little faster than you are. Um, you have a wagon and yeah. some oxen. They have just horses and them. So, you know, two to two and a half days, somewhere around Okay. There. So what if we... we... Alas, if it has been that many days, it is probably futile, and the goblins have probably already done away with whoever it is that they took away. I say we carry forth, companions, for the glory of the sun. My thoughts and prayers go with them. And thoughts and prayers. All right. Okay. Thoughts and prayers. Change my Facebook. Change my um. Change my um. Your profile picture. Change my profile picture. Um. You know, I haven't I changed. Can. I won't change my status because it's been glory to the sun for three hundred and like eighty days now, and I think it's just gonna stay there for a while. But um, I'll change my profile. Thoughts and prayers. Gotcha. Um. Uh, okay. Yeah. So you, you know, you guys take a little bit of time. Yeah. Thoughts and bears. Um. Take a little <laughs> bit of time. Move the move the horses out of the way. Uh. You notice that this. You know. This has been a, a little bit of a staging point that the goblins have been using. Uh, you know, it was only the two of them this time, and they, they noticed that they were a little bit outnumbered. So had you not spotted them, but they probably would have just simply let you pass and just waited for easier prey. Um, but you did happen to notice them and you sort of forced their hand. Uh, so yeah, you, you just jump back in the wagon and you, okay. you kind of head back on. Um, I would like to... Now that we're back in the way in, I would like to use um, Lane of Hands on Venar and heal him for 5 HP. Okay. Uh, let me double check. Uh, I have 5. As an action, touch creature remaining pool or 5 HP to eat a cure disease. I can only do 5, yeah. So yeah, I'd like to give him back 5 HP. Okay. All right, you have your health back. Sweet. Okay, so you you head along and you are heading to Fandolin, right? So you arrive in Fandolin. Um, the rest of the trip is fairly uneventful. Nothing too crazy about that. Um, you did happen to see a couple other travelers on the way, but it wasn't too far out. Uh, you make your way to Fandolin and go ahead and just kind of scene transition. Pull that. <laughs> here put everybody there nice wow yeah look at that Fandolin. all right so um you are now in Fandolin. you got a, a green here um yeah, yeah so you find is. yourself in the town and um, yeah, so what do you want to do? I mean, you're in town now. You have a, a cart full of supplies. Okay. Uh, where did we... Are we, like, in the... Just the main square area? Like, by the town green, it looks like? Yeah, I mean, you're you're probably... Like, one of one of these entrances here. Um, you okay. know, on the outskirts somewhere. But, I mean, you can be pretty well anywhere you want to be at this point. Okay. Um, is, is it Shrine of Luck? Is that a casino? Or a church. <laughs> it does does seem like it would be, doesn't it? Yeah. I can't. Why is it so? I do want to know why it's grainy like that, because it shouldn't be like that. Let me pull up my picture here. Nope, that's the wrong one. I do have a second one we could technically use. So I, mean, I did write the note that we're we're doing this for Gundam Rock Seeker. Yeah. Um, can you? Sorry, I didn't have my pen at the time. Can Can we tell where we're going again? Barthens provisions. Barthens provisions. Yeah. Um, you, you notice that on the invoice. <laughs> I don't see that on the map. Hang on. Let me pull I up. Know. I was noticing that too. I was like, let me pull up the other one. Uh, if, if so I can. Um. Let me see. If it's. Okay. It'll load it. No, this one's exactly the same. Like the map, and I pulled this from their website. 
I'm guessing it's um Western Homes, Lion Coaster, Green. Barthens Provisions is probably by the Smithy. There's the yeah, Inn I mean, and then the Town Luck, the Town Hall, Lion Shield Coaster. That's Barthens Provisions. I'd say uh, is probably by the Smithy area, or well, that's the Temple. Yeah, why is it not there? Whatever. All right, you tell us where it is. Vocabulary and complain about the state of these roads. Right. How there's no guards protecting us from wild goblins. Right. So let me kind of give you a little bit of the backstory here. As you as you roll into the town, the rutted track emerges from a wooden hillside, uh, you, and you catch on your first glimpse of Fandolin. the The town consists of forty or fifty simple log buildings, some built in old field stone foundations. More old ruins, crumbling stone walls covered in ivy and briars, uh, surround newer houses and shops, showing you how this must have been a much larger town in centuries past. Most of the newer buildings are set on the sides of the cart track, which widens into a muddy main street uh, of sorts as it climbs toward a ruined manor house on the hillside in the east side of town. As you approach, you see children playing on the town green and townsfolk tending to the chores and running errands at shops. Many people look up to you as you're approach, but all return to their business as you go by. All right. Um, as we're going by and uh, head toward the main area, um, I think I'll say, like, I shall... Uh, uh, how about I uh, park the wagon out back and we uh, find us a place to stay and while looking for Gundren Rock Seeker? Gesturing toward I, the Stonehill Inn. I'm assuming the Sleeping Giant is an inn. And being a Goliath, that looks like a pretty pretty cool place to go. Maybe a bed <laughs> my size. <laughs> Sleep, there's the Sleepy Giant, and then there's an inn, the Stonehill Inn. <laughs> Interesting choice. Let's go check it out. All right. We uh, go. So, doing the Stonehill Inn, is that... Or the the sleeping giant. Uh, I mean, uh, let's check the sleeping the giant. Let's say, uh, well, here I would let's um, I feel like like we're probably not driving the cart back and forth, so we probably parked the cart somewhere safe. I'm I'm sure these inns have parking lots. Probably. For general well, accessibility. Okay. Uh, so just so we know, where is the? Do we know? Are you like assigning like? Because you can draw. Are you assigning a building for the location that ironically is not here? Um, I mean, it can be. Let's let's just say it's. Uh... Oh, second. This guy right here in the middle of town. How about that? Okay. Nice. Stonehill Inn looks good then. Boom! There. X marks the spot. So, uh, yeah, I'll park it, um, let's say, I'm assuming we drop, we park, uh, if that's where we're going, I want to actually, before we go check out the sleeping drive, then I'd like to park it and, like, knock on the door and see if anyone's there. Sure. Just sure. to see if Gundren is at the location, or someone knows. Okay. So you're, you're parking in Bar Barthens? Yep, Barthens, um, uh, is it open, or is it closed? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's open, you, you go in and... Okay. Um... Yeah, I enter the building. What do I see? Uh, you, you see, it's a, it's kind of a, a, a bustling sort of supply joint. There's there's typical traveling supplies all over the place. Um, nothing too crazy, but uh, it is quite busy. There's a lot of movement going about. People around, uh, you know, moving and that sort of thing. Okay. Um, a lot of travel. All right. There is, of course, a, a rather large man who has seen quite a bit of action on his of his own um sort of standing behind the counter um yeah now you you assume that this is barthen all right he seems to be treating him as such all right i i i walk up to the counter and say good day sir i assume are you the owner of this fine establishment he uh says uh no one one second and he kind of turns to the side and he's like dad and uh, so this older man comes out. He is sort of very lean and balding. 
um, about 50 years old, from what you can tell. And he sort of has a smile on his face, and he uh, he comes up and says, you know, Elmer Barthen at your service. How can I help? Hello, sir. We are here on the behest of Gundren Rockseeker to deliver some goods to this fine establishment. Has he arrived? He says, uh, no, I haven't seen Gundren in months. In months? He's two weeks ahead of us, huh? That is not good news. We were be we were beset by goblins, and we had seen what looked like signs of an ambush, and we were worried it was him. Thoughts and prayers. An ambush, but I can tell you, he hasn't been here. I've been in my shop day in and day out, and I'd know Gundren if I saw him. May we leave the cart here while we look around to see if we can find him? Uh, sure. I mean, you know, I was certainly expecting some provisions um so I, I i knew things were coming but i haven't seen gundren like i said i haven't heard from him in a while were you yeah, going we to pay gundren for the provisions i was going to pay gundren yes hmm. i mean we're dropping him off we could take the money and we go look yeah yeah uh we as his employees, um, are happy to accept the gold on his behalf until we find him. Says, business I, I partners, really, we are. We're really business partners. Is, yeah, my, my contract is with Gundren. Sir, 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 sir. Look at me. Order for the sun. I am a man of my word. When I say I will give Gundren our fair share, uh, his fair share of the profits, of course. Of course, you but can the trust me. Doesn't even sound like you know where he is. Yes, but we'll find him eventually. Uh, but I, alas, uh, I feel like I would be doing Gundren a disservice if I if I left the provisions here without completing my mission, which is of course payment for him for his sake. You know, he his wife's very ill. Uh, can I roll a uh, like a performance <laughs> to see if we can get paid? That would be persuasion. Persuasion? Hey, I'm okay with that. All right. <laughs> Even if I could just get our share of the cold, I'm fine with that, guys. I just it's like I just want to get paid. And, and I would probably say roll at disadvantage. Oh, okay. Oh, that's. Perfect. I'm a member. Okay. I'm the member of the church. Like flaming suns all over the place. I'm a sure. holy man. To be fair, you're talking with a seasoned businessman, uh, like. He like, persuasion checks are not mind control, so... Okay, fine. Come on, baby. Okay, that's a 15. Okay. All right. He says, well... You do have a cart full of things, and you do seem to... to know who Gundren is, and... perhaps you'll run into him before I do. Fine. Here's the money. Excellent. A uh, bag containing... About 75 gold. There's some, some odd silver and copper in there as well. Um, what, were, what were we promised to get paid? Like 10 apiece. 10 apiece. 10 apiece. Okay. Um, he says, I'll tell you what. There's a, There's the first half. You bring me Gundren. We'll talk about the rest. But that should be enough to compensate you fine gentlemen for your trouble. Absolutely. That seems more than fair, my good man. I thank you and the blessings of the sun upon you. If you are ever in need of help, you know where to find us until we leave. <laughs> where is the best place to stay in town that can fit a giant? Slash Goliath. Well, Goliath. And they would say, well, the only place to stay in town is the Stonehill Inn. Ah, there we go. Excellent. Ah. Uh, you keep me posted on what you find with Gundren. Gundren is a dear friend of mine, and I would very much hate to hear that something has happened. Has there been any recent attacks in the town or the neighboring areas in the event we need to go looking for him outside of town? That you uh, know. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, there's always pit pockets and cut purses and that sort of thing that that we hear about, but um, nothing usually too serious. Um, for the most part, you know, people are just robbed of their of their belongings, um, not usually harmed unless they um, they show any sort of resist uh, resistance. But um, 
but yeah, let me know what you find. Uh, he says, you may also want to look out there. I don't know where they are um, right now, but uh, Gundren has some some brothers out and about. Um, Nundro and Tharden, they were they were around not too long ago. Uh, they they might want to be made aware of what's happening. Where can we find them, you know? Uh, you know, I, I saw them about a day back, and I'm expecting them to return pretty much any day now. Um, so I, I imagine, you know, they're not far from here, but they didn't really exactly say what they were doing. Um, they picked up some some mining picks and some rations, which would last a couple of days. Um, you know, rope, that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, they're always kind of digging around in caves and that kind of stuff. Typical dwarf things. And uh, Where is you know, the nearest uh, caves to town? Uh, so, I was hearing um, some murmuring. I, I try not to eavesdrop too much on my fine customers, but um, they do a terrible job of making things quiet. And so I, I was hearing them say something about um, the Wave Echo Cave, which, uh, you know, we, we haven't really messed with that in quite some time. Ah. Well, I will talk to my compatriots, and maybe we'll venture that way. Uh, if the brothers do, though, uh, arrive back in town, uh, please tell them that we have arrived, and then we are staying at the Stonehill Inn, please. Fair enough. Am I the only one in the room? Or the other, my companions are in the room with me, right? They they entered, too, I'm assuming. That's up to them. Yeah. I entered. Yeah. Okay. John's monk character is like the guy that's like stealth there that we just forget he's there. <laughs> like, oh yeah, you're. He's so quiet. Mm -hmm. His his vows of silence. He's really good at them. He's gonna do something cool. Oh yeah, he hasn't done anything yet. <laughs> I know. He's just waiting for his moment to shine. I'm, mean, you know, he's that very right. qu quiet monk. I'm just waiting. Yeah. Okay. So we're good. You want to step out and we can discuss. Shit. Yep. All right. Yeah, I exit the building back. Uh, grab to head back to the cart to like grab my, uh, my adventure, my pack out of the back of the wagon. You know, all my stuff, which is just a pack. Okay. Of. So the, the way I see it, we we have the option of going immediately, or doing stuff in town, resting, and then going the next day. Out of those two options, what would we like to do? Well, I I turn. I I would say I'd look toward. Uh, on that aspect, I would look toward. Is John uh, is uh, Venar fully healed at this point, or I healed him for five? So does that put him to? Uh, he took six. Okay, he, so... he gave him five back. Okay, so, so he's only one health. So. Um, well, the thing is, you're you're down one spell slot. Not to make it too meta, but. It's not like a slot. It's it's kind of it's just it recharges after a uh, long rest. Yeah, a long rest. So it's essentially like a daily in fourth edition terms. Oh. Okay. The end of your next turn, since in er, wait, that's the other one. Yeah, long rest. Yeah. Per long rest, five per long rest, which is a long rest is like what two hours? Eight hours. Eight hours? Okay, yeah. Yeah, two hours would be a short rest. Yeah, so yeah, it's just... But the other thing is, don't forget that in 5th edition you have hit dice, um, and so you have essentially one hit die per level that you have in, in, that, in each class that you can use as sort of like a self-heal um, during a short rest. You can expend hit dice, basically roll them, and you get that back. I think it's... Features and traits. Yeah, I do constitution modifier or not. I think that's under heat features, right? On the character sheet? Um, let's see here. Well, I see uh, hit points, like what they equal. Right. I'm just I trying to see. Where, where does it say hit dice on our character sheets for each character? Um, hold on. Let's see. Class features. Beats. Racial traits. Yeah, I don't actually see it on here. Oh, wait. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. I'm full health, so... It's... Yeah, I don't see either, but it, it is... 
it is a thing. It's the uh, pretty standard healing um, mechanic. Yeah. That are not heal uh, healers. Um, and actually, I can even. Yeah. All right. Well, so well we can figure that out when we're actually at a rest. Um, so if you're, are you on D and D Beyond? Yeah. So you click the rest button, the one that looks like a campfire, oh. and then it'll pop up with your hit dice. You click short rest, pop up hit dice. One D ten plus three. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Like and John's yeah. is uh one d eight plus one. Right. Nice. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. So. Yeah. So I mean, we're good to go. Yeah. Know, let's um. Right. I would say. You guys want to buy anything in town before we go, or? We do have a lot of gold now. <laughs> well. Shrine of luck, boys. Goal. Let's go. Let's turn this fortune. I feel it. <laughs> No. Um, I mean, you got, I would, I would, I would, at minimum, you have ten gold for doing your job yes. extra. Uh, I would like to immediately uh, uh, give each of my companions their ten gold. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. And then, <laughs> um, and then I will say, uh, gentlemen, what what say you? I am only. One of this party, how shall we proceed? We have already been paid, but something is afoot, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, so the two choices that we have on that one, right, we go after the brothers, or we go pretty much follow the trail of someone get dragged away. Mm -hmm. So, Landry, quick question for you. Um, yes. Landry, Order of the Sun. <laughs> um, Full character name right there. The the order of the sun is. Do you have a, a particular god or deity that you? you uh yeah or? yes um I follow. Oh, what did I I sent it to you? I think so. I follow the um. Let me pull up Discord to full look at our. So I am a paladin of the order of sun that uh following the the god um. Do, 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 do. I gotta scroll up. Uh, I think it's Amon or Along, which is um, a a minor deity f or a uh, or a lesser deity for uh, mercy and justice. Um, she is a very uh, old god, been around for a very long time, but um, you know, not like one of the heavy hitters, but an ease, uh, but a good, but a still like um. A well-known one that's, you know, okay. B-class. Uh, which one is it again? Uh, do you see the... Th I, I, we've done a lot of talking in the last couple days yeah. about... Was it before? Uh, I think I almost got it because it was before your setup. Doing a retro... Okay, okay, I see. There's... Uh, I see a Lacal. Um, the, there's the call, then there's the other one. Oh, Amoth, got it. Amoth, one. Yes, Amoth. Uh, Justice and Mercy. Uh, yeah, that one. I think that's the one I had said I was gonna do. Yeah, okay. Amoth. I will write that actually on my character sheet too. That way I have it. Because I think there's a spot for that. I forgot to do that under the religion notes. It, I think it gave me the option to do it. Add. Okay. Oh, whatever. Not super critical. Just wanted to yeah, yeah. keep that in mind for, for when it yep. could be. Um. There is a uh, my character. I um I'm thinking looking that looks like next to the smithy in our town. There is a temple. I don't actually know what it says. What is the temple? Um, like the, there's like a local church. It looks like. Oh um, there is, is temple, the of, temple of. It's all um, blurred and it looks like Khan Maiden, but I'm like I don't think that. Oh, is it can. Temple of Confusion. Conf 
Confusion? Um, no, it's not. It's not confusion. Communion? Is it communion or commendation? C O M M A. Yeah. I swear it's Coin Maiden. It's the Temple of Coin Maiden. So, okay, this is kind of funny. So, I'm. Where it says Temple of Coin Maiden on this map, that's where Barthen's Provisions is in the actual... What is up with these maps? Like, I map. pulled these from the thing, like, and I have, like, each version of them, and they're both the same, I think. Is that the only thing different, is the Temple of Coin um... Maiden? Oh, yeah, no, um, okay, on the actual map... Everything is the same. Okay, the actual map I found, the other one, but it's more blurry... Because it's zoomed out. Yeah, that is Barton's Provisions. Okay. Here. Yeah. Let me do this quickly. Uh, That's a weird change. That is a really weird change. Okay. Uh, you have, seems to be busy, here, you have the ability to remove my drawing. I don't think I can, by the way. You can click on the top left, just remove drawing or erase. Uh-oh. Wrong button. <laughs> I think you deleted the map. Hang on. Can this work? Nope. I mean, it's just took out the, the graphic. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Do you want the other map? Uh, I mean... Or do you want that map back? It doesn't matter. It Everything else was the same. It was just that one spot, so... No, no. See on the map how the map's gone now? No, I know. Yeah. yeah, if you want to put it back, that's fine. Okay. Or we just swap to the the DM one for now. It's fine. Yeah, it just depends on whether or not you guys need the map. Um, I, I don't think there's anything about it that's necessarily um, super critical. Okay. We can just hop over. To the... Yeah, let's just hop over. It's so bright. There we go. Yay. All right. Sexy dragon. General, general DM screen here. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Um, all right. So you were asking about the inn at one point in time. Mm -hmm. Then you were asking about the temple. The temple was actually Barthen's provisions. Perfect. Um, but we'll assume it's a town. There's probably a little bit of a, a church somewhere. Okay. Um, there is the Shrine of Luck, which is most likely um, what it's going to be. It's the only temple. Um, it's a small shrine, and it's dedicated to Timora, the goddess of luck and good fortune. Okay. All right. Well, I don't think I don't think my character would necessarily go there just due to he might look at it and like ah rivals. <laughs> but uh, um, I would I would just turn to my compatriots and be like, uh, gentlemen, what say you know again just saying like where what say you gentlemen? So I was thinking we I. I would choose to go after the brothers first. Yeah. Right? That way we'd at least have uh, support, backup, extra people with at least pickaxes. And we do want, we need them for the second half of our pay also. You know. Well, you need Gundren, but yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, are, are they, are they like all three business owners? Do we know? Uh, yeah. I mean, the Rockseeker brothers are, are, pretty uh it's kind of a family business if so like as far as business goes like we, as, as long as we bring one of the owners there we get the rest of the money for the company um we could go definitely rescue the owner for maybe another additional price after that <laughs> i like it Let, uh regardless i either the brother is missing and the other should know or they can help us finish our quest slash mission so i be i am all for it Bronson, my good man. All right. I think we should head to the mines. We're all good with that. Let's go. Unless you guys want to buy something first, but I'm good. Uh, I turn to look at our, our quiet monk, and I say, What say you, my silent compatriot? I, I, I can part, and I think we should uh, go seek out the brothers. An excellent choice. Uh, as we... Uh... Okay, yep. Uh, Alright. I... So we just... 
we go uh Ready to set off? yeah let's set off to the mines do we have our own horses or anything or you have the the two oxen that pulled the the wagon okay so hmm so we hoof it i guess we're hoofing it unless we want to take the oh, wagon oh. with us i mean i watched well i guess bronson watched a play of this ring lords and he remembers that one of the horses couldn't go in the mines uh so if we're going to mines we probably gonna have to hoof it anyways we all know the terrifying t you know um oh the the famous tale of um of the ring lords of the ring lords <laughs> yeah. uh, um <laughs> it's like a children's storybook right right uh, yeah something like that uh and and you know what the the old nothing else the old uh traditional tale dungeons and donkeys don't mix as we all know it's, yeah so at least if we're going down mines i mean we're not pretty much taking any animals in there uh, yeah I, we can walk i think okay I'm, i got longer strides than you did too though Yes. Wearing much less armor. <laughs> yes, you're wearing much. Yes, our. You're all like, ah, oh, this is easy, and I'm going. The Look. sun is my friend. I shall not. I don't sweat this ever. The sun. Really seals in the flavor. <laughs> really seals it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we head off. I guess. Head off to the mines. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're headed off in the uh, the direction of. The wave echo cave is that yes yep okay. to look for the brothers all right um so you have been traveling for about i don't know about a day or so the the mines are not um or the the wave echo cave i should say it's it's not terribly far away um it's about 15 miles east or so so you know it's not too hard of a trip um but it is a bit of a a journey if you're carrying supplies. Um, somewhere off in the distance, though, you, you kind of smell sort of the remains of a burning campfire somewhere nearby. You've you've been on the road again for about, you know, maybe two, three hours. And you you, you smell a, uh, again, a fire sort of burning out. Okay. Do we see, uh, it's still daytime, right? Uh, it is, yes. Okay. Do we see uh, remnants of smoke from a dying fire? You know, anything? You do. Um, yeah. You so you can follow the the smoke. It's not too far off the path. Um, just sort of enough far enough off the path to um, really just kind of get out of the way of you know travelers and that kind of thing. Okay. And um, as you come close, you find the dead body of a dwarf. All right. Um, so a little bit of inspection. Uh, my you character, just due to happen. what happened last time, is going to kind of look, kind of not, not, like, take up a little bit of a defensive stance and look around more to make sure that there are no goblins this time, having okay. learned his lesson. Um, uh, and since I'm not a good at investigation, I would uh, maybe he would look toward either uh, one of my companions who are the less warrior type and be like, is that one of the brothers as I'm looking kind of like I step slightly away from them, like so that they're behind me in a as a point man kind of thing. And the so the body's behind me also. So they can. I'll take out the body. I'll inspect the body. Perfect. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, so you you approach the body. You recognize uh, the insignia. So on on the dwarf's you know tunic and things. There's there's sort of a, a family crest somewhere on there, and you recognize um, sort of the the symbol of the rock seeker uh, family, which is also sort of like the company, you know, logo, if you will. Um, he's got his little business card. Um, so you recognize this as one of the one of the rock seekers. It's not one that you've had any sort of dealings with. Uh, the only one that you've ever actually met, however, is Gundren, um, your your proprietor. Um, so you you don't know much more than that. But this does appear to be one of the rock seeker brothers. Okay. 
No, so Karen hit that on the rock seekers. <laughs> Guess he should have yeah, gone so with yeah, paper. I, I no, that hey, he's part of the rock seeker clan. I don't know the collective for dwarves. Okay. Um, if we don't find that third one. We're never gonna get the other half of that seventy some odd gold. <laughs> yeah, at least find one rock seeker. That's okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. Like, does he have um? Is there anything we can take as proof of death or not life uh, back with us? Uh, I mean, w what kind of things are you looking for? There's like, is there a, a signet ring? Is there anything with initials? Um. A pocket knife, so, a letter opener, argyle not pen, really a letter opener, or anything like that. I mean, again, there's there's sort of the tunic. Um, his beard know, is that, uh, yeah, his beard. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, and, and you know, it, it stands the reason there could be a signet ring. That's uh. Does he have one? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Why not? Okay. He has a signet ring with the rock seeker ring. thing. Okay. Cool. Well, I don't see the ring, but because I'm not looking. Yeah, sure, <laughs> right. I'll take the ring, we'll, and we'll, we'll 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 continue on. Like we can't much. There's not much we can do for this guy at the moment. Okay. Now, this is not the campsite, right? Is this the campsite with the dead dwarf, or is this the dead dwarf on the way oh, to the yeah. campsite? Uh, so this is the campsite that you you saw. Okay. Like, you know, uh, is yeah, there, so there anything else other where... than the dead dwarf here? Any footprints, signs of stuff? Like uh, maybe I mean, I'm kind of a scuffle and and there are um some large ruts that look like you know some feet kind of digging in their heels um and being sort of drug a little bit. There are kind of trenches that have been uh, okay. dug out of the ground from where the, the, the feet have kind of dragged behind. Same um, the but, same as before, basically. Uh, similar. I mean this one's given a heck of a lot more resistance. The other one was more just sort of dragged. Okay. Well, let's follow the trail. And then there are portions where you see the the legs kind of come up and then come back down and create more trenches about ten feet later as okay. if they were sort of picked up. So obviously, so this as far, what we can gather. This one looks like so as they're like probably searching. I I probably see that. Yeah. And, and yeah. be like, I mean, it doesn't look like there's any real activity around you. Um. And the the campfire. It's been smoldering for some time. Okay. No supplies, though? Or uh, provisions left? I mean, not really. Uh, there's there's a couple of bags um, nearby. You know, the, the two backpacks, travel okay. packs. Um, you know, obviously there's the, the mining picks and things of that nature. The rations that were in them seem to have been kind of picked clean from okay. some of the local vermin. Um, I would like to take the mining pick and put it in my pack. Okay. And then... Um, Looking at the tracks, I want to say, like, whatever was taken here what was definitely alive when they took him. I say let's we follow. follow. Yeah, let's follow. Let's go. <laughs> Onward! <Yeah>. That way. <laughs> All right. So just heading straight on? Uh, yeah. tr tr attempting to... Uh, after the tracks... Um, Let's see, does for tracking, would that be a survival or nature? Or like insight? What would that be for tracking? I, it, it can be a couple of different things. Depends on kind of how you're doing it. Um, you can do a nature check sort of thing, but but I would really probably per perception is probably sufficient. Okay. But I mean, I'll let you take whatever you're stronger in. We can We can make it work. Perception. I'm bad at everything on that list. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, yeah, my character's not good at tracking. Um, oh, I'm good at that. Yeah, I would say, um, uh, I, I'll, maybe I turn to Bronson and be like, my fine nature friend, uh, how do you see in, any trail? Yeah. Uh, would you like to do? Would you like a, a survival or nature check or anything? Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, just kind of roll it up. It, I mean, it really doesn't take much of a. I mean, I'll yeah, make one too. I'll I'll make one too. But I would. But yes, there we go. Nine. Let's see. 
Like I said, I'm bad. Wait, I rolled a a twelve? No, I didn't. There we go. There. Survival. Yeah, I rolled a nine minus one, so an eight. <laughs> Send it. Yeah. And you rolled a. Oh, it says rolling the dice. It's getting there. That's weird. Yeah. Are, are you still in wherever you are? Yeah, I'm still. I'm still a bullet. Yeah. So that's why it's all. Yep. And they'll get there eventually, I think, maybe. <laughs> the suspense. Uh, hey, John, how about your character rolls, too? Like, maybe we're all looking around. What do you think? So, let me go with, uh, that way, maybe we'll get a good roll prior to when... Uh, th there's j six. Nope. Oh, yeah. Is there six? I don't like do 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 now here's the thing you can log in on your phone at the same time as being on a computer and you could attempt to roll on your phone but well that's I, yeah I could that's where I'm having my uh D, &D beyond right now is on my phone okay discord yeah so I mean it could just because I got 30 things going on right now but yeah I mean And I, you know, and I think because I put advanced uh, dice roll, it takes a little bit longer if I just do a regular. Not try. To there you are, nineteen. There it is. There it is. There you go. Okay. Pops it quicker. There we go. All right. So yeah. You... What do my Drew? What I see. So you actually, uh, you <laughs> notice that there, there. There is a series of markings that sort of drag off uh, in one direction, but they kind of drag off um, to the side, almost kind of off to a, a corner that you did not see. There's sort of a hollow over a hill, um, and it drops down into sort of a, a chasm. Excellent. There's a little tunnel at the bottom of that, that chasm that has been sort of drugged there. Okay. So it's here, the entrance tunnel leads into a large cavern supported by a natural pillar of rock and containing three stalagmites. In the western part of the cave, behind the column of rock, are three bedrolls and a heap of ordinary supplies. Sacks of flour, bags of salt, casks of salted meat, lanterns, flasks of lamp oil, pickaxes, shovels, and other gear. Uh, amid the supplies, you see uh, the body of another miner, um, and this, this body has been dead for at least a week. The northeastern section of the cavern has collapsed, uh, forming a 10-foot-wide, 20-foot-deep pit. A sturdy hemp rope is tied off around a nearby stalagmite and dangles down the side of the pit, at the bottom of which is a rough-hewn tunnel heading north e uh, northwest and east. Okay. How dark is it in there? I do have dark vision also. So it, It's pretty dark, but, I mean, it's not, like, pitch black. Okay. Um... Let's see. Are you guys hearing an echo? Yeah, it could be me. I just restarted mine. Let me check. Okay, my that's fine. No, I don't hear it. Yeah, I don't hear anything. I was I heard it for like just half a second. Um, okay. So, uh, with dark vision, I can, how clearly can I see? Though everything. Um, I mean, you you see the hole. Like, are you trying to look down the hole? Yeah, yeah. Just like. That, that's pretty much what you see. Like you, you see that at the bottom of it, there's two, two trails that run out. Okay. Um. And that's the only path further into the cave is that hole, because the other one's collapsed. Uh, okay. Um. Is the scuffle that we saw from the dwarf like? Are there still tracks in the cave here, or is the dwarf tr scuffle tracks th that dead body we found? Uh, you see lots of evidence of movement and, and some traffic through here. Um, so it's hard to make out specifically exactly what's what, but the, the tracks do lead to here. It's more stone at this point than it is dirt, so you're not going to get as many clues. Okay. Um, but there are, you know... 
Um, it's a pretty well traveled area, and you can tell from the the foot sizings that there's more humanoid uh, sized footprints, slightly smaller than a standard human, but not not necessarily goblins or anything. Of okay, that okay. Um, we could uh, send the monk in for a, a stealth mission. Ooh, recon, or we can kind of walk in like we own the place. I hold up, I pick up a rock and I hold it over the pit and I say, do we go the took route? <laughs> the half lean route and just drop something? <laughs> if we're going with she the uh, dungeons and, you know, if we're going with the tale of the the rings for uh, version. The ring Lord. If, hey folks, shall we pull a, a, a half lean ring Lord move and drop something down the hole? See what runs out. I would, uh, I would say we should drop something. All right, I drop the rock. Okay, um, you drop a rock. Full of a talk. And it, let's let's see here. Hold on, let's just roll some dice. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> um, you you happen to drop a rock, and it it kind of hits the side, and rolls down along the edge and sort of careens straight down one of the uh the paths there um and you you begin to hear a significant amount of wrestling um there are multiple voices uh you can't quite make out exactly what they they're saying uh you do recognize it as uh you you know enough of the dialect to recognize it as a form of elvish um but it's not one that you're familiar with and yeah, you definitely hear a significant amount of moving, and you also hear a significant amount of skittering. I want to grab the rope, so I'm holding the, and then I want to cut it and pull okay. it up. Okay. Do I need a roll for that, or do I just do it? No, no. I, I assume you can cut a rope. Okay. Yeah. So I want to cut the rope and then quickly pull it up. Okay. So you have you have pulled the rope up. Okay. Um, as you as you do so, about that time, uh, a series of dark elves come pouring out of the uh, the caves below. Um, they see the rope is is lifted up. Uh, that doesn't seem to slow them down too much. Oh, that's uh, creepy. Their feet. That is kind of creepy. I'm like a lot like oh shit. <laughs> but but more quick on their feet are the spiders that are skittering along the roof of the cavern alongside them. They are less we concerned need, with your rope. We need sunlight. Yeah. Really fast. We def um Okay. Now I can see all this with dark vision. I can't see a thing. But I so, um, I want to <laughs> yell, um... I hear some problems. Everybody out of... I just want to yell, Everybody in the name of the sun, get out of the cave! Now, and yeah, I... Sure. I just want to run backwards. Out of the cave. Alright. So you, you... <laughs> to, like, the edge the of, feet. like, just into the sunlight so I can see into the cave. Still. You want to, uh, like, grab... You still have that rope, right? Yes, I have it. You want to do that, like, taut line, maybe they run too fast and trip over type thing? Do we have time for that? I don't know. I'll grab one end. You grab one end. We'll figure it out. <laughs> like, you want, oh, like, you go right, I go left at the edge of the, at the edge of the cave? Yeah, man. Let's do it. Okay. I'm down. Let's do it. <laughs> What's the monk doing? What is our monk doing? John. Uh... Excellent. Yeah. Oh. So is that what you that was your go for? We wanna yeah, yeah, like go to each side of the cave and try to make like like keep it on the ground until pull to see if we can trip some of the elves up maybe outside of you know, the like, cave. You know like the, the, the front spiders get pushed by the drought, the, yeah. the elves. And it's just the series of people falling it's over. It's like the Ewoks like trying to chip. It's like the Ewoks trying attempting holding the rope to trip the AT 
Walker in Return of the Jedi, you know? We're just there, yeah, like, yeah, all right. I got it. I got it. I got it. Mosh pit just waves and waves. People can't stop. Is John City standing in the open nonchalantly, like, waving into the cave, like, hello? Is he our bait? Because he's just... John. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy to be the bait. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> him and his just, hi. <laughs> just... <laughs> Uh, all okay. right all just right. um yeah so as, as you look into all right so you have dark vision mm -hmm. um i think what are the races everybody john know, is a variant goliath. human goliath and then i'm a half elf okay so oh, the charisma bump i like it yeah, yeah. So, so you guys, you, you can kind of see what's going on here. John, you're just sort of staring into like this blackness of of a cave here. Um, the the best you can sort of make out is what appears to be sort of the this slight glow of white teeth as they sort of smile back at you. And you don't see them moving anymore. I'm assuming you guys are off by the edges of the cave and not yeah, we're like just hold this rope tight, right? No, yeah, it's like on the ground. Okay, right. You're, like you're, slacks. You're kind of yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, you hear the footsteps sort of come to a a halt as uh, as they approach the edge of the cave, and uh, where they stop, four giant spiders continue to keep going and come bursting through the mouth of the cave okay Ugh. as the, because i can kind of see the edges as the, they're bursting through like right as they're and hitting the exit uh i'm gonna i say i i'll just yell like my character will be like now and pull the rope okay. all right so do, do me a favor uh let's let's roll um so at least two of them are running along the top of the roof, so this has no effect on them. But yeah. you know what? There's up on the ground. Let's go for this. There's there's eight legs a piece. That's a lot of opportunity. That's, that's... A lot. A lot. You just need maybe eight one. Eight D20s. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so all right, let's let's roll. Let's let's do it. All right. Um well it's it's really it's two spiders. So that's sixteen legs. <laughs> that's a lot of legs. Lots of things to break uh, and right, cut. I will tell you, I just sort of rolled for them. Okay. And uh so one of them, I mean, you know, just kind of Blitzes right past this thing, not phased at all. Yeah. Um, one of them, however, does sort of, you know, trip up, and for whatever reason, it it sort of tumbles and and rolls in front. And could John? Um, does it roll right in front of John's up. character? Sure, let's do it. <laughs> nice kid. Uh, you want to go to initiative or? Well, I was gonna say, can John John's character? So John, yeah, um. Initiative. Uh, attack opportunity, opportunity attack <laughs> for John. Yep. So roll d twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is he allowed to? Like, uh, and I, I that you could actually tell him what that is too, since he's. Doesn't... Yeah. So so attacks of opportunity. Um, they're not as much a thing in fifth edition as they were in fourth edition. In fourth edition, that was like a Everything. big meta game mechanic there. Um, okay. But but yeah, it is something you can get when someone is leaving a space that's adjacent to you um or in special circumstances uh it's a free attack in special right. basically yeah right okay it's the best free that, attack so john do me a favor um roll for me i'll, I'll let you roll but considering you were looking down a cave that you really couldn't see anything um mm -hmm. whether or not you would be prepared to make such an attack is questionable right okay um but hey I'm, I'm always willing to hunt for the yes so uh give me a roll let's just see what happens i, I mean he, the the spider might there be we go which would make an advantage right hey. 16 <laughs> that's uh that's pushing it but <laughs> okay well would so, that be um, with dexterity that's not with a mod though right no 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 i was just making a roll I was okay just making a roll. yeah go ahead um yeah so you get to take a free, free shot at this, as this spider rolls past you. It's time to shine, guys. It's... Yeah. So, wait. Go for that attack on the spider, then, is it? Yes. So that'd be a yeah. D4 or D6? Well, or your D20 to see if you hit. Well, wasn't that the 16? 
Yeah, that was that yeah. was the, he was alert enough. To oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. He was looking into essentially Perfect. pitch black cavern. Okay, so then I'll roll again. Yep. Oof. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oof. Yeah, that's not gonna. You're not gonna have enough bonus to make that one happen. Uh, no. Uh, no. But you do swing at him. Okay. But but yeah, he um. He was moving a little faster. You were expecting, you know, drow, and uh, you had this spider that just came like rolling past you, in this sort of tumbleweed of, okay, fur and nonsense. And guys, I'm going to tell you right now, this is this is not looking good. <laughs> I, uh, I. <laughs> so uh, the took worked though. It worked, you know. It, you know, it did. It did. They have a. Um, do they have a cave troll? Do, do they have a cave troll? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, my character basically is Boromir already, let's be honest. <laughs> they have a cave troll. Uh, right, right. Is that initiative time? It is, absolutely. Go ahead and roll up some initiatives. All right. Uh, 12 for me. All right, hold on one second. Just hold on to that, and I'll I'll get there in a second. John, are you click? Uh, what way are you rolling? Because I are you clicking on the? Uh, do you have it pulled up, or are you doing the quick one under the bar? Um, I'm I'm doing it under uh, just the the normal way of doing it on the on the website thing. Okay, yeah, I just I'm wondering. Are you using advanced roller or just the just the sm the small version? I think it's just the normal. Okay. Because like if you pull up advanced, sometimes people have better luck with one versus the other. Um, so maybe try switching. Maybe that'll give. I've noticed some people think that the algorithm might be different for advanced roller versus normal. Um, so Landry, what was your roll? I was twelve. Twelve? Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't you? Have, you have no initial. I have initiative no bonus. initiative bonus. <laughs> Bronson, uh, nine. Total. Nine. Okay. Nine? John, with his plus three, what what do you got? Um, let's have a look. So I need to. Do I need to make. Yeah, a roll yeah. Then? Just roll. Just roll. Yeah, Twenty. There it is. 19. So he's definitely going first. <laughs> I hope. Um, I really hope. Of the three of you, he is. Oh, gosh. Uh, Unfortunately, geez. spiders are quite dexterous. Um, and they also roll very well. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, okay, so the two spiders along the roof line um, come barreling out along the sides. Uh, one of them takes... Aim at, uh, let's see here, who wants to? Uh, Bronson. How you feel about hugging a spider? <laughs> hugging it, a grapple? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it, it might be hugging you here in a second. Uh, so this oh, spider okay. is going to, uh, I'm going to pull this up again here. Gosh. Yeah. I wasn't uh, thinking of spiders. I would have bought antidote. <laughs> Do I have? Why is it always spiders? <laughs> right. Jeez. And okay, this spider is going to attempt to web. Ooh. Attempt to web. Okay. Attempt to web. Yes. And at here, I'll just I'll do the rolls here. Um. There One. We go. Okay. I will tell you right now, that's better than the 19 I rolled off screen. So, <laughs> so that was a little bit of mercy there. <laughs> uh, a a uh, one does not does not. I don't know if it goes against my armor class, but it, I don't think it does. Yeah, no, no, I, I, think, don't, I don't think. It's, yeah, uh, I, I think you're it. okay. <laughs> so yeah, so it 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 shoots web past you, and uh, a whole lot of nothing happens with this particular that's one. Gross. That's what I said. Right. Yeah. Sticky. You're just like, ugh. What is that? Um, the other one, however, 
does come out of the other side, and this one is going after Landry. Um, same general idea. That's okay. that's kind of their yeah their starting. Concept they're swarming. Here. They're swarming. Yeah. Right. That is not that's a hit. That's going to be an eighteen. That is a tie. What does a tie do? <laughs> I'm pretty sure tie goes to the attacker. I think. I think so as well. Yeah. Meets it. Meets it. I don't think it does. I, I, that's that's malarkey. I'm just. Uh, uh, <laughs> just does it? I don't know. Um, I will confirm, but I'm I'm pretty sure. It I does. think it does. I think it does. But does it? I don't know. Ty always like because there's it's either Ty goes to runner, or Ty goes to defender. And it's like every game flip flops it, so I don't know. Okay, so this one actually, uh, this is this is saying here that. I think with armor, I don't... it's going to the defender. All right, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll err on the side of the player if I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, okay. So yeah, but you do know that that was exceptionally close. So yeah, there's a bit of a an issue yeah. there. Uh, the third one is on the ground, and John, you are right in front of it. It sees you swing at its 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 comrade that is sort of flailing about on the ground, uh, and it does the same thing. It it attempts to web you. That's gonna be a twenty-three. Whoa. I don't think. Guys. Ugh. E. All right. So, um, so you are now covered in a sticky webbing. You dirty boy. <laughs> Double gross. Is that a? What does that do to him? Does that? Is that a? So he is now restrained. Okay. Um, on his turn, uh, he will have to make a strength check. And see if he can break out of that. Okay, so it's it's just a he just can't move, but he can still attack, or or is he like tied up until he breaks out of it? Almost. So if, if the attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm just confirm exactly what restrained entails. I think I, I got it pulled up. If you want me to read it entirely. Speed becomes zero and can't benefit from any bonus to speed. Uh, yeah, attack rolls against the creature have advantage and the creature's attack rolls. Okay, yeah. Yep. So you can't move. Um, they have advantage against you and you have disadvantage against anything that you do try to attack. That's next to you. Okay. okay. Uh, yep. Well, and but yeah, at least you didn't take a hit, it. so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, you didn't take damage. And um, uh, can we like break, cut the webbing and stuff and break it out? Can, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you like, essentially attack the webbing. Um, okay. Um, all right. But it, it is webbing, so it, it, you know, it has certain resistances depending on how you're trying to break it. I think it's, like, bludgeoning doesn't do much. It's It needs to be, like, a slashing kind of damage, doesn't it, pretty much? Yeah. I don't think a hammer, without, without I don't think a warhammer is going to do... Yeah. I don't think my Warhammer is going to do crap against a web. It's just going to be like, eh. Yeah, it would likely just sort of move it around a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do have a knife, though. But... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that brings us to uh, Vinar. Mm -hmm. With your so 19. Just... So yeah. you... Yeah, do me a favor. Go ahead and uh, make, a, uh, make a... Make a strength check. So roll a d20. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if you get out of your webbing. Yeah. John, just for you, uh, and it's kind of similar to my version of d d that I made, everything but damage is basically a d20. Yeah. It's okay. only on your actual attack after you get hit that you roll a different number on your sheet. So if he asks you to roll anything, you could just roll a d20 pretty much every time. Sure. At least the uh, first roll is always a d20, I think. Literally always. Right? So pretty that much. That is sufficient to break out. Nice. And I'm not 100% sure if this is, uh, in, in this edition, you do DC rolls at the beginning or the end of the turn. I think it's supposed to be the end, but we're going to let, we're going to roll with it. Okay. Um, right now, you're you're pretty well outgunned, so I'm going to give you every advantage I can. Thank, yes, we're going to. I am merciful, am I not? You are. Um, you are a benevolent are. DM. Yeah. 
praise the sun. Uh, okay, so, yeah, you have a, a very angry spider that is right in your proximity. Um, technically two. Two, two, one, yes, two. But okay. the one that is on its feet is closer to you. The other one that rolled past has since righted itself and is on its feet, but it's okay. It's not right next to you. Okay. Uh, so I will try and attack the one in front of me. Okay. okay. Roll it up. Uh, um, so there we go. And he has... Nice. That's gonna hit. And he has two types of attacks, because he has his quarter staff and his unarmed attack. So I don't know what he's... You want to punch a spider, or you want to hit it with a stick? Uh, punch it. You want to punch it? All right. Nice. Okay, so... blows, right? Gloves? Uh, Does he have flurry of blows? He he has unarmed strike. Yep. Plus five, and then he um. I, is it level two that you start getting key abilities? Yes, I think so. So. Okay. Uh, he's he's got a quarter staff that does one d six plus three, and then he has unarmed strike, which does one d four plus three. But it goes up like every level on unarmed. Okay, well, let's, let's split the difference here. Um, because you're kind of new, you know, this is the first time with a monk. Uh, a quarter staff, you can pretty much swing with one hand. Um, does he get wait? And... No. Oh, sorry. Does he get two? Because it's a two weapon. Does he attack twice? Well, that's what I was gonna say. Is is he can swing with his main hand and then with his off hand? Yeah. Um, trying to see. I feel like his unarmed strike should be more. Well, he's even... level one. Yeah. Monks get really good, but level one, that's well. So, so here's the deal with his unarmed strike, right? It it hits for more than yours would. He can actually add his strength modifier to it. His dex modifier. Uh I've got strength on his character sheet. Yeah, so... that's that's raw. That should be dex, right? It's or is it not dex yeah. until level two or three? I I, 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 I don't know. like. He he's a monk, so it's not like it's a normal. It should be, it uh, should thing. be Dex. Like Dex is there a t is there a damage modifier? I swear. Oh, it's because it counts as bludgeoning, which is a st and stuff like. Oh, hold on here. Um, I think that's wrong. I think that's supposed yeah, to be a plus no, five. I, I, I... Yeah, it it has the, the information for just a standard unarmed strike from someone else, but down below it under bonus actions, it does have the plus five to hit, one D four plus three, which would be using your dex mod, uh, which would be correct for monks. So it's it's putting the generic unarmed strike. He has a plus there, five is, to his dex though. What he doesn't have plus five in his dex mod. It plus five is his is to hit. Okay. Yeah, his dex mod is should only be three, I think. Um, let's see what it is. Yeah, his dex mod's only three. Yeah, okay. So plus three is the built-in deal. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. But but yes, so you you can make a main hand attack with your quarter staff, and then yes, you can punch with your your left hand. That's yeah. Um, okay. Okay. For, the, for the plus yep. or the one d four plus three, if you want. So that that roll would be the quarter staff. Um, so give me a give me a d six. Okay, D6 is... Oh, I think that's a D6. Okay. Now nice. That's going to be 9, because it's D6 plus 3. That is a, yeah. right. that's a good and hit for level 1. Yeah, that's a pretty solid hit. Go ahead and give me another uh, D20 roll. Okay. Let's see if you punch a spider in the face. That's not going to do it, unfortunately. But... Uh -uh. A six what out I of a like six, to... though, is that's nine damage is solid. Right. Yeah. Certainly nothing. Uh, nothing bad there. No. For level one. Right. That'd kill a goblin in one hit right there. Right. Because they have like eight or five. Depends on the goblin. Depends on the whether goblin. Well, whether they're well fed or a, a malnourished little scamp. Yeah. Okay. It's nine damage on the spider. Very good. And it's not and dead? Oh, no, it's not dead. Oh, boy. It's angry. It's... Uh, but it's not dead. Okay. 
Uh, Landry, you're up with the 12. All righty. Uh, right well, now you're holding the rope. What? Right now you're holding the rope. I'm assuming like after they trip, we probably let go. I'm sure you did probably, yeah. Yeah, and also I was attacked, and I probably put my shield up, which is the only reason it missed me. I don't think we were able to hang on. More probably than not. Go, but yeah. It's more like, yeah, oh, yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. All right. Um, I, uh, and the spider that shot the web at me, is it climbing above the cave, or is it like right in front of me? It's pretty well right in front of you. Okay. Um, I'm going to swing my – I'm going to take my war hammer, and I'm going to swing, and I'm going to aim right for its mouth because I don't want it to spit webs at me again. Um, All right. I mean, the webs come from the other end, but yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm used to like other, but okay. That low nature check, you know. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Druid laughs. I'm talking like, like you know, like I'm thinking, like I'm thinking video game style where they always shoot them out front, you know. Right, right. <laughs> and, yeah, right um, here in the gonads. I'm gonna. Well, it can't hurt me with its webs, so I'm still gonna aim for the mouth because that's the part that I'm more afraid yeah, of. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what's what you're looking at. That makes sense. Nat 20. Okay, there you nice. go. So that's right. a crit. That's what I'm talking about. So that'll be a D. I'm on. So, yeah, yeah. So D8. You're D8. Plus three. And then you add the three at the end, right? Correct. Yeah, because so... you don't add the modifier to Ritz. So that's going to be. That's a D8. Oh, gosh. So that's yeah, 16. Yeah, that that's anyway. uh, oh. 19 damage. All right. Is it dead? Nope. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, I'm afraid now. I mean, it, it is pretty well. Uh, Did I crush yeah. its entire jaw? Like, I. that's a crit 19 crazy. damage on the spider uh -huh. with a war And it's. Oh, I'm not saying it's not hurting. Ah, uh, yeah. It's not dead. Okay. Um. All right. I then want to use my movement to go to John's side and be by him to try to help him out if I can. Okay. That's a good idea. I'm assuming that spider's not going to really attack me right in that movement with that hit. Like I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm assuming I can yeah, make that. Yeah, you pretty well staggered it and you know knocked it off its balance, and you're uh, you're sort of seizing the moment to uh, move in its confusion. <sighs> yes. Um, had you not just rung its bell pretty good, it probably would have gotten a, an opportunity to yeah, attack I'm like, on you. I literally cannot hit it any harder. I got a crit and then the max damage. That is the literally best I could physically ever do. Hey, that's all we could ask. <laughs> exactly. Hey, uh, thank you. All right. And uh, I will then... Um, I, I'm trying to think. Uh, do I have anything for bonus actions? I don't think I really have any bonus actions that I can make. Uh... Because I can't actually do defensive stance for stat things. Can't right. Because I'm not a fighter. And I don't have the right. feet. And even then, it's not a stance kind of thing. It's a feat. Right. It's the tunnel... It's, it's I think, tunnel vision fighter is what it's called, or shield master. Okay. Um, all right, yeah. So I'm just going to stand by, John, and uh, end my turn. Fair enough. Okay. Um, check Glory screen. of the sun. All right. Uh, as you arrive there, you notice uh, an arrow coming in your general direction. It whizzes by your head. Um, one of the side effects of having really, really shiny armor is uh, you become a very flashy moving target. <laughs> uh... But one of the, the more finely crafted uh, drow hand crossbows as they are so fond of carrying with them um has let loose and it misses a quarter you know of course but okay um but yeah so they they're shooting all right that's fine. great um uh, because with my dark vision i'm assuming i can see them you can yeah yeah you see them there's there's four of them in there and they're okay. all loading up those crossbows all right um i want to now john's to my is like kind of behind me uh, can I, like, tell them, like, can I tell my companions, like, there's four drought with, there's four of them in the cave, and sure. maybe kind of try to nudge John to, or, or John uh, Venar to be like, hey, maybe stand behind me as I hold my shield up. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the spiders, yeah. 
yeah so in the name of player agency i i will permit you to move your character in front of him as opposed to encouraging his character to move behind you as kind of a re as a reaction kind of move well that's just where you would end your movements and you yeah know, okay yeah let's just let's just let's right, let's just say i, sure. yeah, I yeah, i'll, I'll, I'm in front. I'll, I'll work for that okay um sorry <laughs> Uh, Bronson, what you got? Okay, so, you have a spider in front of you. I, I'm at the mouth of this cave. Yeah. Yep. Right. Um. How? How? Bi- like. Okay. This is what the attempt is. Uh huh. And we'll we'll mitigate it with DM stuff, and I'll, I'll accept that. Sure. Uh, I'm going to attempt to do the spell thunderclap. Okay. And it it doesn't specifically say it attacks creatures. It attacks everything within range of five feet. Okay. Now, it says the creatures have to make a con save. Now, here's the thing. I'm actually mostly wanting to attack the cave opening. Okay. Okay? Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll with that then. Okay. (laughs) Okay. All right. right. I like it. I like it. Let me see that. Ooh, now, four to spell attack. Let's just, go. just to kind of clarify a little bit of sort of what we're dealing with, the the cave isn't so much like a mouth of a cave per se. Like there's a little bit of a pit where remember I kind of like collapsed, and so you're yeah, kind of looking down into a pit, more or less. That's that's like yeah, where they're trying to go. That's where there was a rope. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to move and collapse stuff to close off. It. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, I got. It. And then we'll do this. It's gonna take a minute because my computer is currently from the eighties. That's okay. <laughs> uh, and then so so just, uh, so every cre- oh that was your stage. every creature within five feet needs to make a con save if this goes through. Okay. Okay. What does go through? You have to make <laughs> yeah, you should just roll before you even tell us what you're gonna do. Maybe then it'll. Like... You, you want me to roll? So the way the way it's worded, I don't think I have to roll for this. I think I just do it and you make the con save. Oh, that's a lot of spells. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about an attack roll. No, it doesn't. So that's okay. my mistake. All right, so all right, it's twelve. What you have to beat? Okay. Um. All right, so here's here's what we're gonna have to. All right, I'll just roll. Let's see what happens. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's the DM. He got him before me. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, that's that's not me rolling for you. That's me rolling for the cave. Yeah, okay, for the cave. It's a weak cave. Um, hey, yeah, there's so your nine. Roll your roll doesn't matter, because I, I, I think <laughs> we're going to go ahead and play this up as, like, standard it's spell. You usually don't have to roll an attack roll for spells. It's the DC oh, the the recipient makes. So each um, creature within range a must succeed on a constitution throw or take 1d6 thunder damage. Okay. So what? what give me an idea of what your intent is. I want to try and work to, with this. So the main thing, right? Yes, I know there's spiders and, and other things around me, but the main thing is trying to seal off this cave with rocks. Okay. I'm like try, trying to attack the caves mostly. That's what the clap's going for. Right. Okay, so that, that's what I understood from you. And and yeah. the cave rolled a one, right? So yeah. obviously it's not a creature. You know, we're, we're, we're going to kind of roll with it, but we're going to assume um, that this this was a more fragile cavernous open it's already collapsed once um yep. and and yeah so you you let loose this thunderclap and the the mouth of the cave sort of begins to rumble again and kind of collapses in on itself um you you sort of hear um the the gasps of a couple of draw elves as they are quickly silenced underneath the the, the now gathering rubble um, the mouth of the cave has effectively been closed, but mission success on that one. Um, I think if that was your, I, I'll, I'll take the win. I'll take it. And then that's the end of my turn. Yeah, no, no. Okay. I mean, that's, that's a turn. That's a good turn. Um, all right. Uh, and that's going to bring it back to the spiders because the, the drow are now out of the picture. Are they dead? Do we know if they're dead or are they just? We will. Uh, I mean, you've got a pretty good idea that they are. 
Okay. Um, you know, you haven't verified anything on the bodies, but nice. Is that uh, okay? So the spider that has righted himself, um, he is the one that went tumbling past John. Um, so he is on the opposite side of John. Uh, Landry, you are on the far side because you were standing between him and the drow. Yeah. So, so, so John, you are going to be the closest thing to him. Um, yep. My brilliant plan has backfired. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a good plan. I mean, it was a great plan. No. Okay. All right. These spiders can't hit the broadside of a barn. Uh, that spider is just gonna miss. It's that vertigo from getting up. Like oh. Right. Right. Um, the one, however, that was beat up pretty bad. Um, he's not happy about it, so he is gonna come back to Landry. That is a miss. What is what, it? What do you have? 18. Oh, okay. Yeah. That one's going to miss as well. Yes. I have a lot of, I have a lot of armor. I just can't, I can't teach. Just... All right. I'm, I'm, I'm all armor. Fair enough. Um, and then I, we, we still have one standing right next to, uh, to John, but he is also kind of distracted by Landry's armor. Um, shiny. Yeah, yeah. Shiny things <laughs> tend to draw attention. Yes, I'm shiny. Oh! Was... Wait, oh. where'd the 8 come from? I don't know, but you still rolled a 20. I did. Yeah, I don't know where the 8's from, though. Right. Uh, you probably did a... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So, take um... the... Yeah, I mean it's still a twenty. Yeah, so that's, gonna, yeah. that's gonna hit. And yeah, because it me that still means it shows that that means the first dice was a twenty regardless. Right. Yeah. Because it does it so in order, so that's do... a hit. Um, unfortunately. Yep. For now, give me a couple levels. And so criticals in fifth edition, I think, are double damage dice, not max. Double dice, same same modifier. Yeah. Because you still have to roll them up, right? It's not automatic. Yeah, you can still roll two ones, which would be great. Right. <laughs> well, it's damage dice. Okay. That, that's that's pretty for, that's pretty uh, gracious for two d eight. Um, so you're gonna take eight. All right. And I need you to make a Constitution. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give me give me a Constitution save. Okay, so that's well, my dude. Let's see. I just want to see. Uh, I have a plus three to constitution, so that's good. That is a 15. Okay. So you you pass your save, but you still take half out seven poison damage. Total? Or is In that counting the... Uh, so that's 12 yeah oh well, what did you take first uh five okay uh no you took eight the first time it was the 1d8 plus three or sorry no the 2d8 because he crit so it was five plus three for the mod so you took eight, eight the first time no and it's seven five and two eight. it's five and two i took three and two uh, oh right it's one d eight plus three, but he crit, so it was two d eight plus three, and the rolls so came eight, to five. yeah, so eight, okay, so eight, yeah. and then and then seven uh, poison damage, so it's it's half on a on a successful save. So is that three then or seven? Damn poison, is it half of the seven, seven. or seven to half? Oh, 14. Two d eight point poison damage. You take half of that. Uh... If you, if you made your save, and that was a fourteen between the for the two d eight. That well, that would knock me out. That that does. Yes. So, co thud. Awesome. Uh, your shiny get the sh the I uh, the order of the sun has been knocked. I am yeah. I am at I am at zero. Okay. All right. Do I have? So you're not dead. No, you're I'm just. just yeah. You're just not in a good way. I'm just not... I'm not doing good. Yeah. You've seen better days. 
Um, that would that comes back to Vinar. So John mm-hmm. brings it to you. Yep. Badek. <laughs> Well, he can stabilize, it. right? I think. Uh, he could. I mean, he could roll a um, what is it? A heal check just I, to stabilize. I yep. think there's a there's a like the wait. Doesn't he have a as a monk? Monks don't have cantrips, do they? Wait, do they? No, not until at least level three, and depending on which order you go with. Yeah, and I don't even think they pick up cantrips at that point. I think they do pick up certain abilities that they can use with key points. But yeah, on armor tech, I'm just seeing what he has for. Uh, what's in his? Oh, he's looking. I'm just. Oh, let's look at this. Let's see what's in his bag. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, he has a prayer book and incense. Rations. Mess kit. Yeah. So, I don't know. Get creative, John. It's all you. Um, I have se- I, I have come to your aid, and now I'm just looking like... <laughs> I'm just I'm just on the ground mummering like the hail the sun glory to the sun so I maybe I could try and use the incense to bring you around get some smell and salts <laughs> just or you could attack those four spiders I mean, yeah <laughs> yeah I mean you know uh... or you could run away there's there's one of them that I mean that looks like it's hurting pretty bad. Yeah, I suppose I could try and go for the attack on that one, see if it right. if it finishes it. That makes sense. Give me some rolls. Uh, I'm rooting for you. Yeah, let's me go. Too. <laughs> Good luck, guys. <laughs> hey. Oh. Jeez. Oh. Yes. There it is. There, there you go. Is. Okay, that's. Look at that. All right. Um, so yeah, give me that D eight. Swing him with that that quarter staff. Uh, D eight is uh, yes, that one. And let's see. Oof. Plus okay. the D plus uh, three. Three. Plus three. Okay, so that's four. All right. You Did he roll for his unarmed attack too? Yeah, yeah, unarmed. Yeah, you gotta you gotta roll a separate one. That's a different attack. Okay. Uh, give me another D twenty. So just a normal. Yep. Yep. Oof. Oof. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's it's really in a bad way. Like, <laughs> it, it you can tell it's like stumbling around and stuff, and it's 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 not looking good. Okay. Um, Bronson. Uh, uh, so... Do you have healing? Cast... <laughs> I don't have any healing at all. I'll cast uh, the, the to the largest, meatiest, strongest looking spider. I will attempt to cast Animal Friendship. Okay. Uh, that is a... <laughs> Do it. A bridge from Wisdom check. So choose a beast that you can see with it. must see or hear you. Is a beast intelligence for a higher? Um, oh, let me pull it up. It's a spider, so probably it is not. Let's go. All right. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I the only thing because so the spider is charmed, the biggest, hopefully, the biggest one. I'll take a spider out of this one. He's charmed. Um, and I yell to the monk, don't attack. And I'll point to the correct spider. Please just don't attack this spider. Okay. Fred. Spider friend. <laughs> See, a spy- this spider is friend. In good life. Spider friend. <laughs> and it's going to be charmed for 24 hours. Nice. Yep. yep. All right. So so what do you want to do with this, this spider friend that you have now? Uh, on the... <laughs> uh, so... 
this spider friend will be if it's Mike, one of your companions. Yeah, okay, so the spider can get hurt. I don't care. So this spider is just going to be running defense completely in front of me to the three other spiders. It's This is spider's <laughs> name is Shield. He's my best friend. That's it. We, we just met, but already. <laughs> he's charmed. Yeah, like he, and it loves you like it. you are its world. For the next 24 hours. Master, I, mean, I shall life? sacrifice my life for you. Yeah. I like that. This is also not a concentration spell, which I like too. All right, keep going. Right. That's it. That's the end of my turn. I yeah. hide behind the spider as best I can. That's it. Glad to see you're doing well over there. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So, so oh, I sorry. think what? I took out go ahead four, and, uh... four, four elves, dark elves, and one spider. You know? And it, I'm scared. It, I, I'm not entirely sure if this is how this spell should really work. Um, but I'm gonna roll with it, right? Let's just let's pet spiders. Hey, it he's a druid. Your he's spider's turn. Yeah. What's that? It is now your spider's turn. Yeah. Just hit his. He's gonna be my shield. Okay. So he's the spiders have behind. magical healing properties we don't know about against antidote. I know. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. I'm, I'm allowing as much shield like a spider wants to do webs, legs, teeth. I don't care. Just shield between me. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right, so uh, uh, the ultimate tank, the one that is um, expendable. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, okay, all right. So per total, uh, I just want to make sure I'm understanding it right. Complete and total self-preservation. Like, I don't even know those guys. I got my ten gold and like. <laughs> no, 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 no. I should have. No, this yeah. spider is uh, protecting me. From the other, yeah. So the other, the monk, and and the paladin on the floor. I mean, like they're gonna have to figure out some stuff too. But for right now, I need the spider to protect me. Okay. Right. okay. The spider sets up a defensive position between you and the other spiders. Let's go. All right. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. So. That's one spell slot. All right. Got it. Good. Just roll something quick. But... All right. Uh, the one that is all mangled up, John, it's it's gonna it's gonna attempt to go at you, but I'm gonna give it disadvantage um, because it's pretty well busted up. Like half its face is sort of falling off, and you know it doesn't have two mandibles to put together to actually bite you with. So let's just sure. Uh, we're gonna go with the eleven. So let's see what we have here. I think that'd be a What's miss. What's your AC? That's still 16. Uh, his is 15. Okay. Um, yeah, whatever. It misses. I'm not trying to kill anybody on day one. Minus me. <laughs> only mostly dead. <laughs> There's a big difference. Right. Yes. My character feels dead inside right now, though. Having taken... Even with my, like... Rolls. <laughs> right. Ugh. Uh, the next spider. It will actually take a swing at your spider. Because, you know, your spider is doing its spider thing, right? It's kind of yeah. trying to get you. But Traitor. Does whatever spider does. Yeah, it does whatever spider does. That's going to hit. Sucks. Okay, so your spider is going to take... Thir Yes, 13. Um, and because they are spiders, we're not even going to bother rolling up any of that poison damage nonsense um, because they're spiders. <laughs> we do know, though, these spiders have, like, a lot of health. These are giant oh, oh, spiders. <laughs> yeah. That, that's a big help, let me tell you. Yeah. Uh, you, you get the impression that you're not supposed to be at this part of the adventure just yet. <laughs> you may have skipped over quite a few story elements and uh, found yourself in a precarious position. Yes. Yeah. Uh, potions. Next. Next time we buy potions. <laughs> right. Uh, the other spider is Large also going to take a special is. interest in your spider because it has seen what the rest of your comrades can do, and it is not all that threatened by them. 
That's gonna miss. That is gonna miss. All right. Uh, yeah. So Landry, you're <laughs> still on the ground. Um, <laughs> you get to and Benar. Mm -hmm. This is your first saving throw. Me? Or, so yeah. I succeeded. Oh, yeah, I haven't taken one yet. He's not actually dead. Um, as part of the poison, he is. So am I like paralyzed with zero he's health? Stable. You're stable, oh. but you're poisoned for one hour. Okay. Ah. So, like you, so does that mean technically I have one health then because of the poison, not zero? Uh, no, it's it's you're at zero hit points, but you're stable, but poisoned for one hour, um, even after regaining hit points, and is paralyzed while poisoned this way. Yay. Cool, cool. I'm just still mumbling glory to the sun. Just glory right. to the sun. I'm like so John, holding my poor hammer. Just... So, the, uh, the two spiders that are in good working order are now sort of face to face with the other spider that is in mostly working order. Um, and then the one that is all like busted up is still right there in your face. So. I'm going to try and attack the attack. one that's busted up to see if I can finish it. Do it. Okay, let's have a look. I want to see you crush a spider, sir. Come on. That's yeah. going to do it. There that's going to hit. All right, give me some damage. Okay, so that's an 8. Yeah, D8. Yep. Okay, D8. One. Oof. That's all right. That is still enough. Four. Um, despite hitting with only some of your might, the uh, the spider, its legs go limp and it falls dead in front nice. of you. Um, let me do a check here real quick. Yeah. Uh, so the other two spiders, uh, seeing their, their comrade behind them fall and realizing that it is now essentially three on two, uh, they they sort of scooter away, also seeing that their their normal escape route down the tunnel is no longer available to them. Uh, they attempt to flee. All right, uh, I will. I still have control of my spider. I pretty much inform him to run that same direction as fast as they can away from me. Twenty four hours from now, they can finally rest. Okay. All They're right. Far direction away from me. Got it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all three spiders sort of run off into the distance, and uh, you are now, you find yourselves alone, and so cold, so very cold. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to go. Landry and um, <laughs> let's let's go back. Back to town. <laughs> back to town. Heads hanging low. You're unconscious. Well, I'm probably cheat white. <laughs> <laughs> oh let's, boy. Uh, let's, get, let's get some rest in <laughs> take two it's tomorrow like two the... back... it's like two hours back to uh the what do you call it the the city yeah i mean probably a little more because you're now carrying uh you know a full well you know what you're you're goliath um you could probably fit pretty good with with a, a half elf on your shoulder <laughs> uh so yeah about two two and a half hours something like that back Okay. And uh, fortunately, you, you don't have any issues. You find yourself back in town. What do you what do you choose to do in town? Uh, uh, I think rest is in order. Okay. Uh, yeah. Reconnoitering. Okay. Uh, so we go back to the inn. Uh, I don't have... I have zero health knowledge. Health, anything to help anybody with health? Do you have anything? Well, if it's a long rest, don't uh. Do poisons don't go away? Do poisons go away on long rest? I don't do think so. Do? Uh, you're only poisoned for one hour. How so... much? Oh, okay. How many hit dice we'll, do we we'll gain back on long rests? You go to full health on long rests. Right? Yeah, so then we'd just be all yeah. fine. Yeah. Waking up, they'll go and like. My character definitely is waking up like oh, a little shaken, probably like, oh boy. 
I shown I, I I flew too close to the sun, gentlemen, <laughs> and so got burned. <laughs> Those dirty drows right. must have done some dark magic to block me from the light of the sun. <laughs> All right. So you wake the next day. Everyone is is good to go. Um, you wake up in the tavern. Do you want to? Do anything with your your information that you have. You now have information about one of the Rock Seeker brothers that may be valuable to someone in town, or maybe of great interest to someone in town. Yeah, well, the definitely antidote, right? If we, yeah, I mean, uh, we wore off after about an hour, so we'll we'll say he's good. Oh, I just mean for like future life events. Oh, sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll take I'll take one bottle of antidote from whatever store I can get it just just to make me feel safer, right? Um, right. And then uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try to peddle some information and figure out what our next step is. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how much? Yep. So we have seventy gold total, right? Yeah, you got like seventy something gold, some miscellaneous how, silver, plus how, whatever you happen to have on your characters before. How much? Um. I don't actually know how much gold I had at the start. I don't think I gave myself gold. I'm just kind of thinking how much is like how much are health potions? Like um, typically, not much. Okay. I, I, you uh, know, um, one or two a piece. Two, one or two gold. One, uh, let me look it up and see. Yeah, just like how much? Because we have ten gold, like seventy. Um, might. Whoa! In... Any talks of fifty gold? I don't got that kind of scratch. <laughs> it's a lot. I guess I don't buy it. <laughs> How much are health potions? Just like the one d six ones. Fifty gold. Wow. From what I'm seeing here. Uh. Okay. If we had a rogue, we'd be like, steal potions. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. Um. Now, Mike, this is the time where my character uh, unofficially goes like, like oh, man, we fought a bunch now, of high-level enemies. If, <laughs> level up more health. Just kidding. Um. Uh. What about, uh, like, first aid kits? What do those, like... Don't those bandage you for like less health, but and they require prep time, but they do heal for um, right like first aid kits, bandages, salves. Let me just see. Okay, 50 gold for a potion. Can you? That's crazy. That is yeah. gold for a the only kit. thing that a healer's kit can do, um, by itself is stabilize a creature that has zero hit points without needing to make a, a medicine check. Now, there is a, a feat that you can take that yeah. allows you to, uh, to use those, I think, for for healing. It's But a, a, a healer's kit in and of itself just stabilizes people without a roll. Okay. Um, let's do then... I can't think of anything I'd buy that with our gold. Like we could buy one potion with the remaining gold we got, or one antidote. Here's a question: Can we? Um, did we take anything from? Like, did we extract any venom and stuff from the spiders we killed that could be sold? Um, I didn't hear anyone say they were doing that. Hey, you have your if spider you companion. Is he back? No, no, no. he told him to, to run for 24 hours straight. Yeah, for 24 hours straight. All right. Um, he just he pumped up three blocks okay. and just went. Um, yeah, that's not today's problem. I say uh, we take the signet ring. I uh, My character would be like, let's take the signet ring to the shopkeeper and see if we get the rest of the gold. Mm -hmm. Or if okay. if there's been any updates on the brothers. Can't believe potions that expensive. Yes, I know that was crazy. But, Man, but I mean, I guess fifty gold is really only a lot at like level one. True. Because then you get like a hundred something, sometimes more per uh, 
per like quest. Right. And you find potions. Most of the time, a potion in the middle of combat is not really the way to go. No, um, it's it's more right. the betweens. Yeah, and th those are level one problems. You won't, you yeah. won't have any. On the bright side, I now have my I have my daily back, so at least we have we have a tiny heal. We have a five hit point heal. Right. So yeah, yeah. problem solved. Problem solved, guys. We're, yeah, yeah, we're yeah, good. You, you back to the K for round two. No, no, no. Yeah. We bring. <laughs> So um, uh, yeah, so you go back to the um, the the tent there, or not the tent, but the uh, Barthen's provisions, and uh, you show him the signet ring, and his his face sort of goes long and morose, and he says, "Oh no, I feared the worst, but seeing the truth only hurts all the more." And he says, "Please, I I don't know what's become of Gundren. I don't know what's become of of all the Rock Seeker brothers, but." Can you tell us if the any proof ring... of his fate? Do, do, can you tell us if the ring belongs to Gundren, Nundro, or Thordon? Thardon. Thardon. Yeah. Uh, he says uh, this belonged to Thardon. He was the only one that would wear his ring. Um, the other ones would always complain that the dirt would get it caught underneath it, and it it caused undue uh, blistering as they worked in the mines. Okay. That's okay. So uh, I I, I want to like look at him and be like, there was signs of bodies being dragged away. We do not know if they are all dead yet. However, we uh we've ran into spiders and d drow at the cave. We need help if we are to attempt any type of rescue mission. And I slam my fist down on the counter. And look he around says, the shop at his things. <laughs> he says, signs of movement where? Uh, we found drag marks with that showed signs of a struggle at one of their campsites, which led us to the cave. Um, we also had seen signs of drag marks on the road leading that direction as well. However, we only found one body. It might be time. We, so we only know of one of the brothers being dead. Okay. They might still be alive. All right. Let me let me ask out of, out of character here for a second just to make sure I'm understanding. At, at this point, I don't recall you have said anything to Barthen about your encounter on the road. I did. To Fandolin. I did. I mentioned we were... I asked him, has there... Uh, I mentioned, um, has anything been happening? And I said, like, we were... We found um, uh, the horses. I said, like, I think I did. Okay. Did I? Do you okay. guys remember me asking saying that, like, in a statement? Okay. Yeah, you may have mentioned a scuffle. I want to make sure I was. Yeah. I was the right. yeah. And it was my way of asking, it, 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 like, does this happen often? I think right. I, I think I did. Okay. You did. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I remember. I remember something about that. Um. He says, you mentioned getting into a scuffle as well on the way into town. He said there were some horses on the ground. What, what horses were there? there? How many? There were two. Yes, two. What kind? I, I think Bronson would know that. Bronson, yes, I think Bronson would know that. We um, didn't inspect the horses. No, no, you... We did. I, um... They... What did they look like? Um, I believe one of, uh, they were two, uh, horses with some, uh, packs on them. They looked very similar to the breed that I believe, um, we had seen, um, Gundren take on his, on his travels. I believe one was a, uh, one was definitely like a light, uh, chestnut kind of brown horse. And the other one was similar with like some white specks. I think something like that, mm -hmm. or it was white, but one was definitely horses. Well, silver mane and amethyst; those are the horses of Gundren Rockseeker and Sildar, his faithful companion. It says so. Somewhere between where you came from and here, 
is Gundren, and somewhere between here and Wave Echo Cave is his brother. Perhaps Gundren can give us some information. Did you find anything else? Other you than their up? campsite and uh, the, the Wave Echo oh, Cave had collapsed and there was a pit inside of it with a rope leading down into an unknown tunnel. That is where the okay. spiders and drow came out of. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the that's the Wave Echo Cave. Um Yeah, we're go we're going to need more information to know what happened. Uh Obviously something is happening in the cave. Something is happening on the other side of Fandolin. Um there's something bigger at play. Bring me Sildar. Find Sildar, bring him back here. I fear the worst for the rock seeker. So, was that Sildar the horse, right? Sildar's the uh, companion of the human that went out with Gundren. Oh. Okay. 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 He's a human. Got yeah. It. Um. So I looked to him. So we need to go back to the cave. I. We, or we no, it's the other way. It's uh, where we came before we got to the city. Right. Okay. So we need to go. We need to go back to the wilderness, basically. Remember, no, the, 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 the trail, the, the route? Yeah, yeah, we need to go back to where the ambush was. Yep. Yeah. Let's go there. Uh, right. I looked to, uh, how far away was, that was pretty far away from Fandolin, right? A couple uh, days. Okay, so I would look to the man and say, can we, it's like, we do not have horses of our own. Can we, may we borrow some of your horses? Sure. Excellent. Yep, he says... And about that gold. The rock seekers are dear friends of mine. Take whatever you need. He says, and he, he kind of, you know, waves his hand uh, a little bit around his provisions. And uh, you have an eye. There's a couple of potions <laughs> on the shelf there. All right. Uh, I, I, I act nicely as I can for some uh, as many potions as I can get without him being in trouble. <laughs> he says, well, you can have what I have. And uh, what I have is four. So he gives he gives you all four. All right. Cool. I I will take all four. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I know I'll give two to the monk, and two to me, and because you can kind of heal a little bit too. All right. Fair enough. As the man who will try to take more hits, that's fine. I'll you have more. Spread it out. I'll have more yeah, healing yeah. stuff over time too, give or take. All right, so we're off on the road to Morocco. At that point, is this uh, is now eight thirty? Is this kind of a, a a break point where we sort of cut that off? Okay, that sounds up, good to me. Up, yeah, yeah. All right, with a journey. That sounds good, yeah. We're moving on. So you guys will will easily be uh, level two at the beginning of next time. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. We need to talk to Kay, figure out her character stuff. Right. And, and, and I can work all that out. Yeah, um, and Gaddy will probably be on next time, too, if, you know, once the baby's normal. Right. Because he's going to be home. He's he's on leave for, like, um, like, two, three weeks. He has, like, two, three weeks of leave, so... Uh, do you guys want to play next week, or do we want to do the same thing we did last time, where it's at every other? I'm down for either. Um, I'm either or, like whatever everyone else is up uh, yep. up for. I know. Toward the end, you were actually getting your good rolls. Finally, it was like, yes, yeah, he, was, he was getting them. Yeah, like... you were averaging like a fifteen, sixteen, I think, which is really good. And then, yeah. So, I'm down for next week. If everyone else wants to. Yeah. Next Saturday or whatever, we can put it out to the group and yeah, works for me. See if we can't get uh our rogue and fighter in here. Yeah. So I will tell you that was that was some pretty uh pretty slick thinking there, Mister Bronson. That yes. Was, uh, that that that's a sheer panic and 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 knowing uh look that. Four spiders is way too much for a level one druid. 
to deal with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, with, with a full compliment party. That, and, uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not with those with those drought characters. Cause I, I mean, I know you know a bit about the wave echo game, but I'm going. Wait, what? Because <laughs> there's yeah. cause it, not only that. Well, there's there's large spiders, dire spiders. This is all like player knowledge, right? But there's all that's only because they're beasts. Now there's creatures I could do animal friendship to, and I didn't know if it falls in that category, right? So right. if a wizard made it, I can't do it, right? But if these are just natural large spiders, which it sounded like it was, yeah, yeah, they're, they're beasts. Yeah, and man, was that a just a let's go? And then the four intelligence. There's some spiders that go up to six, I think. Which how much? That was yeah. Good. How much health did the large spider, the giant spiders have each? Is it twenty five? What? Twenty six. Damn. Because yeah. I did 19 damage on did, a, yeah. on one hit. I was like, please be dead. <laughs> like, it's alive. What? I critted with max hit. I'm like, I'm like, jeez. Yep. So I, I will tell you, on, on my side of the fence, like, you guys jumped over a lot of stuff and just went <laughs> straight for, like, just the end game here. Just goblins, um, uh, some bugbears, and some other things. Right, you're like, you killed two goblins, just bring on the boss. Like, we're kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, so, that is 100% in keeping with my characters. Uh, you know, just, I'm... I'm Landry of the Order of the Sun. Bring it on. Right, Le yeah, at level yeah, one. You know, Storm in the Keep, straight out of, you know... Ironically, I was half tempted when they were coming up to blow my horn too, and I was like, "Okay, <laughs> just brr, brr, yeah. let's do this." My, my hope was more to try and actually kind of, I guess, scare you off of it and <laughs> not engage like a you know, like theoretical party wipe. Um, if we had and... if we had two more people, I think we could have taken. Them. Maybe. No. If you had no. two more people, I probably wouldn't have been as uh, as as gentle. Yeah, with... <laughs> I know. The drow choosing to just kind of hang back and kind of plink, you know, shots. Yeah. Um, I mean, to be fair though, the four giant spiders, any one of them could have probably just about one shot all of you. Yeah. Um, because they're they're they... basic hit. Yeah, I mean, they were yeah, rolling they're... low. You rolled really low with them. I did. Yeah, yeah. Like, ones. like yep. two ones and like a four or five. And I was like, okay. I'm like, right. I am so glad I have high AC. I was the, like, the dice were very kind at until times they, it's not even their basic hit. It's the poison that kills you. Um, yeah. Well, the only hit I got, I only got hit one time in that spider fight. And that was with a crit. And I was just like, well, that's, that's what got me yeah. was the crit. If it was anything else, you practically don't hit me. Um, I mean, their their base hit. I mean, they're, they're not too shabby on the actual. Is it a plus? You know, plus what is hit. It's plus five? Yeah. So, so realistically, they would have hit on fourteen and higher. 18? Yeah. They, uh, yeah. If it's a plus five. Oh, yeah. yeah. So fourteen and up. A natural fourteen, or yeah, natural fourteen. Yeah. I mean, which isn't incredibly hard. No. You know, there's. Um. Uh, sweet. Um, 11. Yeah, I mean it's still a thirty percent chance to hit, but yeah, it's the uh, it's really the two d eight poison damage that you take if you fail the save. I mean that just absolutely wrecks your. Day. Well, that and sucks that I mean, passed my save and still took it. <laughs> you did well. The problem was like you passed your save, but you took two d eight on the regular hit because of the crit. Yeah. So you know, it was just yeah, I was. The crit insta killed me, basically. It was just, up. Oh, I'm dead. Right. I do not have 16. That was 16 damage. Or, well, no, the crit was... 8. Or, right. And then, then the poison was 7. So it was like... Yeah, that crit was actually pretty gentle. Um, yeah. But... Of the two rolls, because I got to roll two dice, and both of them were exceptionally low. Yeah, but it was still enough just because of the... The crit, it was like, okay, eight and then seven. So that took me down. Right. Two two more past my maxes. I don't, or three, because I only have 13 hit points at level one. Yeah. Yeah, it was a three and a two on the 2d8. So only five out of a potential 16. Yeah. That was 
Um, uh, do we want to just since John's here and everyone? Do we want to? Uh, do we want to level up now, or do we want to do that off screen and tell everyone at the start what we did? Um, yeah, you can go ahead and level up. Are you talking about, you know, just doing it like while we're while we're all together, kind of? Yeah. Do you guys want to do it now, or do we want to do it at the start? I feel like it wouldn't make sense to do it at the start because next time we'll have other people, and they're just gonna I mean, basically like I'll go on to gaddy's character and i'll just i'll help him level up so he just starts at level two and maybe we pick him up on the road kind of thing right, right. however you want to do it yeah. as our benevolent sadistic dm i mean nice dm yeah no no, no. i mean I'm, totally, I'm, I'm in agreement with that one i would i would say either you know if you guys want to have table talk and do it now that's totally fine um if you want to just simply do it offline and come to the table with level two next time that's that's fine too i wouldn't expect um Everything yeah. to be done, you know, here at the table. The only thing I would probably say, if you're going to take your rolls, because you um, you gain, you know, another hit die worth of uh of health, and so that's why I was that's why I was kind of thinking like we could roll for the hit yeah, dice. Yeah, you want to roll for those instead of just take the average, then then yeah, I would do that. You know, what were now. we saying? Are we rolling or going for averages, guys? I can't hear you, Bronson. I think you're muted. I mean, I think every player can make that decision for themselves. It's, it's. it's I don't think it's everyone has yeah, to do the same I'm, thing. I'm down for rolling. You're down for rolling. Rolling's okay. fun. All right. So, so John, you're a D8. Okay. I think so I'm a D. Uh, you're a D10. Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Do it again, right. John. So John. <laughs> let it. Let All it. right. <laughs> The dice have spoken, my friend. Uh, yep. Um, so you get. Let's see where that puts you. That'd be nine. Well, it he also adds his. Uh, oh right. Modifier, which is. So Vinar, he has um, a plus. One. Plus one. So yeah, you would have two more hit points. That's not bad, actually. I mean, all like yeah. for a monk. I mean, that is 20% of your health that you just got added. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's the that's the downside of rolling, right? You know, yep. you, you you take a... You roll for the 8, you get the 1, you know. Because of what, average so would be 4? Uh, average would actually be 5. So five. It, it rounds up, because technically the average of, of the of the D8 <laughs> is 4.5. I just, say we just, all roll, and if we're all lower than average, then we take the average. How about that, huh? Huh? Uh, yeah, if all that. three, if the entire party is below average, everyone gets the average. How about that? I, I, I just think you, maybe it's a below average party. I, just... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all right. You, you have the option to to take the, you know, it's the, okay. it's the game show thing. All right, right? Bronson, you gonna roll? Eh? Type it. <laughs> <laughs> Spider got your tongue. Bronson is typing. Uh, thoughts and bears. Nope, we don't hear you. Cool. Maybe uh, here, try reconnecting like you did last time. Coward. <laughs> uh, you're using the Discord for chat, right? Yeah. If he reconnects, okay. okay. Uh. Okay, so you're taking the average, um, the, which is you're what D8 for Druid, I think. Yeah, I'll go. To yeah, I think. Hey, there you are. There we go. Oh, you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you now. So D8 so, is yeah, five. Druid, Druid D8 hit die, I think. So you you would right, get five plus uh, Constitution. So. What is the What's the average for Paladin then with ten? Plus one. So you six. Plus six plus one or so for seven or just plus the constitution modifier, which your constitution three. is three. So you would have nine plus nine. Yeah, Brian, John, should we just have... take the averages? 
<laughs> Bronson, I'm going to go ahead. Or sorry, John, 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 John do, you, do, we, do we retcon and take averages? Edit character. I'm happy with uh, the role that I made. I'll stick with it. You happy with it? Okay. <laughs> I, I, I would allow it. If you, uh, if you wanted to go with the average. Level two. John, take the average. That's like double. <laughs> okay, I'll go, with, I'll go with the average. Go with the average uh, let's there. just go average. I'm like nine per level is... is uh, All right. So... Hang on. All right. Uh, I want to do it like... I just wish I could... Ro I just wish I could like be like... Hang on. I'm just curious. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, see, that's you could have had it. That's that's what happens. That would have been know? 13. Would that would have doubled. Can I? Uh... Here's the here's the deal. Here's the deal. I will only allow you to take your 10 if John has to take his one. I mean, as I said, I am I'm, I'm, I was happy with the with the role. So I was like, I'll stick with the role. OK. OK. All right. So that's. Thirteen, then, for me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I would, I would allow that only because the option to retcon it in the first place was based off of everyone else just sort of taking the average. Yeah, I was just like, roll, then, then I've got to go with the our, ice yep. the creed. All right. Um. Okay. John, then at level two. And that was really sort of a uh, a paladin morality gut check moment, right? Do you take <laughs> I your had a look own at... personal gain at someone else's uh, expense? And uh, you were like, give me that 10. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at John like, hmm. Can I... I can't give John... I feel like because I t it was a retcon, maybe I shouldn't take my modifier. Maybe I should just take 10. I don't know. No, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. All right. Like, I think we should make Bronson roll now. I think we should. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he chose... He chose the average, all right. Yeah, he chose the average. Uh... <laughs> I mean, it... I, I will give him the same option. If you want to take the roll, you take the roll, but the, the dice will have the final say in that case. It's not like the better of the two. You know, it's like whether you go with like... He's fine. Standard I don't even know what he's saying. I'm just like, he's like, I'm good. I'm yeah, good. he's like, yeah. I, I I'm, good. I'm good. I'm good over it. I got spider tank. I have a pet yeah. spider. I don't need health. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, it's what happens when like you roll for stats and stuff. The whole you know forty six drop the lowest yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, you can have a character that's like awesome, or you can have, you know, seven. I added seven. Yeah. He's. Uh, I say we let John reroll. <laughs> I'm say the dice has spoken. Uh, uh. All right. Let's see. Um. What was I do? There was something. Oh yeah, we can level up though. Like you can pull up your character sheet, John, on D and D Beyond. Yep. Since we're here, and we can, it will make it easier for you. You know. Yeah. Um. So you add, you go to edit. Yeah, and level two, I think, is going to be big for you. It's big. Yeah. Yeah. Now for editing, what do you, uh? Do you have to go to character builder again, or is there like a level up uh thing that you do? I don't remember how it works for um, uh D and D Beyond. You do. There's an option to modify your character. I don't know if I can see it through this screen though, because this isn't like this isn't the uh, the account that made the character. Yeah. So there's usually an option to do something, and you choose what like what you want to take the next level in. Yeah, I'm on the website. Just trying to see where you actually level it up. Trying to find a cool new... Uh... Our silent yeah, and patriarch. So, and Bronson, the... Uh, the... the um... 
the thunderclap thing at the the cave. It's just kind of like, well, rocks don't typically take lightning damage. But I see where this is going, right? Like, <laughs> oh, uh, I want to make this happen for you. Yeah. They don't take lightning damage, but they, like, I bet it could still, like, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I, I get the spirit of the intent. Yeah. Uh, that's true. Yeah, and there's there's a difference there. Thunder is true. Impressive force, not... Yeah, the shock damage. Yep. Okay, um... So where do you level up on here? I'm looking at, like, character builder. Is there a... Where's the level up thing on the website? Um, like I clicked uh, edit. Do I, I get a four. back to characters? Maybe there's a level up button. There's view, delete, edit. So I feel like it'd be edit. Do you just change the level? Is that all you do? So up at the top top right if you're looking at the character up at the top right there's a little anvil this is go to builder okay yep click on that it should bring you to basically page one and you just, um oh there so it is the character level there yeah manage you, you hp stop. okay right and so um you would drop down the level to two if you are leveling up in that class, if you are multi-classing, then you have to go down to add another class, and you would add one level. Of there it is. That. Okay, I see. Yep. So fighting style. And that is actually a big question for you because you were talking about doing some multi-class stuff. Yes, but I'm going. Um. So I was going to talk to you that off because I knew it wouldn't affect it here. Okay. It. Um. Per story, it would just need to happen before my paladin level is three. Because that th level three is when you pick your um, sacred okay. oath. So okay. basically... So this level up or the next level up? It's... That would have to happen. Yes. And because... It, okay. So I would just say it would have to happen next session of some kind due to the fact that I basically need to do the multi-class at three, and then at level four would be my level three paladin for my Sacred Oath. Okay. Or, sorry, sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because then it makes sense story-wise why suddenly my... Because otherwise I'd have to pick a Sacred Oath, and it would not make sense at all for what we're doing. Right. So, okay. yeah. No, that's fine. So, yeah, um, this I, I anticipated at level three I'd do it, and then four I'd do paladin again, and... Gotcha. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, I just thought about it because if um if that was what the intent was for this level, you actually would gain a different set of hit points. Yes, you would roll a hit die based off of the class. You're yes, taking. yes, but yeah, no, I'm I'm still okay. I'm still paladining it up because not that that has not happened. Got it. Uh, and. Trying to decide what I want to do for my fighting style. Either protection or defense. So either I add a plus one to my AC or I do protection where I can use a reaction to shield. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? I already have 18. So 19 is not a huge difference, whereas shielding would help you guys. So I feel like... Protection might be better. Yeah. Hmm. Plus one. Sorry, two at the moment. Seeing the plus one statistic plus one is generally more useful, but it's your call. Hmm. I originally I was gonna go for defense. Mm. Uh just because it's like, hey, if I don't like the more tanking I can take, the more I can try to aggro. Technically, even though I'm not a hundred percent tank, it's still. So, the thing with that one, and it may not play a big difference into what you have going, but the thing is with the other um, defensive or the protection uh, ability is it uses your reaction, and you only get one of those per combat round. Oh, so that's yeah. So that's really so, not a. It, it has less to do with like the ability and more to do with action economy. Yeah. 
as and the opposed other, to just yeah. Yeah. Dueling just the static one, it's just always on. Yeah, and dueling doesn't really affect me because I have a shield in one hand, and I think you have to have an empty hand for dueling. And great weapon fighting is only two-handed, and you have to be using either a two-handed weapon or a swinging two-handed. Most of the time, I think I'll have my shield out is my general plan. And the stuff we talked about doesn't work on straight two-handed weapons for later. Um, so yeah, I guess... I think maybe... Um... It does work on versatile material weapons. It just does not work on a two-handed weapon property. It does work for versatile, though what we're talking about so i'm gonna do defense so you you can use dueling actually with a shield oh i can yeah oh. no because because you're only using a weapon with one hand the shield is not a weapon um um a plus two damage is nice it's actually quite a bit but eventually Um. Hmm. I mean, the downside is I can't take this now. So, do I want damage early then defense later, or more damage now and higher defense later? Because I can't retake these ever. Hmm. Broad said, "I need your voice. I need your wisdom roll." <laughs> I don't. know, What do you think? Plus two damage. Nice. What do you think, John? More damage or more tanking? Now, I will say one thing. A AC is not everything. No. Like, a AC is important, um, but there's a lot of stuff out there that doesn't attack your AC. Yeah. So, dueling probably is the better option. And it's not yeah, like I, would say so. I think, and I already get my shield bonus anyway. So it's like, oh, I already have a plus two with my shield, and I could get better shields. I could get plus sh weapons, you know, plus armor things eventually. Let me see. Uh. Uh, we need a tank with high constitution AC. Yeah, that's... Daddy's not really a tank. He's like a... A ranger dude, almost. He's like a... He's an Aragorn bow and sword dude. Alright, you know what? Let's go... I'm gonna go with my initial gun and just go defense. I liked that idea. Why not? And yep. then... It's if, definitely not. There's there's not a bad role. No. It? And then I'm going to because right now we don't have a tank and we need some I need toughness. If I need more damage later, then I see I can go back to that if I'm feeling like I don't need the toughness because so, I can rechange this later. All right. I think the, the biggest problem with protection, like I said, is is just the fact that it if yeah. you do it as written, it uses your reaction. And yes, yeah, I'm going. That's why I'm not going protection. I'm going defense, which right, is right, right. which is just Otherwise, a it, plus it could one. Be a very cool one. I think it would be very flavorful. If um, it was, or... yeah, if it was once per turn, then right. it, uh, because like okay, bonus action, reaction, bonus action, not just one time. Mm. Spell casting. You have learned to draw on divine through meditation prayer to cast spells as a cleric does. See Paladin rules, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. So, now I have spells. And I just have to prepare them. I don't have them listed. So, that right. doesn't really... Which, at level 2, you get, what, 1? Is it 1? Um... Spell slot for Paladins? I'll have to look. Yeah. Charisma's my modifier. Um... I can use my holy symbol, which I do have, as a focus. Which, does that give you a modifier bonus? Like, what does holy symbols do? Um, so holy symbol is just something you have to have. It's, it's... You have to have a holy symbol to cast holy magic, basically. Yeah, it's, it, and realistically speaking, um, 
for a lot of people, and I'm I'm kind of of this mindset. I don't want to try and make things overly complicated um, for oh, people. I... So like, there there are some spells that have material components, things like that. Um, in fact, I didn't even look at that. Um, nice. Although now, I got the big thing, which is divine smite. <laughs> That's so, the yeah. So like, if if I was a a strictly by the rules DM. Right, even animal friendship that you cast earlier requires a morsel of food as a component. He had food. He had rations in his kit, though, right? Right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right. So. So, so yeah. I, I mean, I I try to keep it um, within reason. You know, obviously, if if you are bound and gagged then you can't cast a spell that has a verbal or a somatic com component um that said you know i'm not gonna nickel and dime you about everything you know i'm not gonna ask like an archer to keep track of how many arrows they have and all that kind of stuff i just there's a certain point in which you're playing like spreadsheet warrior instead of D D. yeah okay make sure all right so but, yeah so my yeah. i leveled up my guy he's done He's got spells now that I can do, like, level one paladin spells. I think I only have one spell slot, though. I'd have to look. Um, what, I, what I probably would say about the holy symbol thing, though, is just kind of determine um, how you do it. So a lot of the spells, and, and priests deal with this as well, a lot of the spells, um, I think you're supposed to be holding your, your holy symbol. So it does say, though, your holy symbol can be an emblem of some kind. It can. And for a lot of paladins, they, the they sort of emblazon their holy symbol on their shield. Yeah, so that makes sense. Like, I have a sun on my shield, too, and on my cape. So those are would be my holy symbols. Probably. So, with that, though, just kind of keep in mind, um, because that is sort of the conduit by which you channel the divine power that you have, um, if you, like, drop your shield or, you know, throw your shield... You know, unless you have, like, a backup holy symbol on hand somewhere. Um, For amulets, do you have to clutch it when you do it? Typically, yeah. I think that's how it's flavored. Can you do that while holding a shield, though? Like, hold it like this? I don't think you can, if really. If it is the shield, then you don't need to, because you're already clutching yeah. it. Like, if it's on the, the shield. Which or is it's just... How well, odds are I can emblaze it on my chest armor. If it's on my shield, it could be on my plate. Because I'm wearing... Pl I'm wearing... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not something that I want to make like overly cumbersome for general combat, um, but it is something that you want to sort of clarify because it creates opportunities to where, like, say you get captured, right, and your your yeah. stuff is now taken away. It, you know, same thing with spellcasters. If they lose their component pouches and things like that, um, fighters, if you lose your weapons, you're now using improvised, you know, you're just fisting people to death or, or yep. picking up, you know, bar ah. stool and that kind of thing. Okay. Um, so, I mean, you know, it, it's just, it's more like a, how do you run the story kind of thing? Um, I'm, you know, I'm not like trying to play oh, gotcha of like, Oh, you know, you cast a spell and you weren't clutching your symbol. You know, that's, that's not it. So I have two spell slots at level two, I guess. And then I just have to pick which ones I want to know. There we go. How many spells can you prepare total again? Um, is it per number of slots, or is it like, isn't it like? It's usually attached to your wisdom modifier. Um, I'm just curious. Yeah, I'd have to pull known up the spells. Four. I can do four. I can do four. It says. Okay. Uh. Which is cool. Let me see what I got here. So I can do. All right, yeah, I'll I'll figure that out later. Like my prepared spells doesn't really matter. Um. Bronson wants to sell his ar change his armor. Sell his armor for five gold and buy hide for twelve. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure you could start with hide armor. I think just retcon it, change it. Yeah, that's I'm I'm okay with that. I'm not gonna. Yeah, cool. I'm not gonna get anybody over that. All right, 
John. Um, yeah, we say like on the, on the holy symbol thing. A holy symbol is a repreta- representation of a god or pantheon, a cleric mm. or paladin may use a holy symbol as a spellcasting focus, as described in the spellcasting section. To use the symbol in this way, the caster must hold it in hand, wear it visibly, or bear it on a shield. Okay. So. Just. I, I, all right. I have a question. Does cure yeah. wounds? Is that? Can I cast that on self, or is that only able to cast on other people? Because it says on a creature. That's that's self as well. You are a creature. Good, good. Because I was wondering when I was reading these things, like, um, okay. So I'm gonna prepare that. I'm just preparing magic. Mm-hmm. My spells. Um, divine favor. Uh, uh, John, do you want help level lane up too? Like, I have your character sheet actually pulled up, so I can technically edit it and send it to you again, or we can just run through it together while you edit it on your end. Um, if, yeah, if you, you could, um, because you, cause you've got it, um, up. If you could, um, like, do the change it to the level two, yeah, and then just fix the stats that need to be um, updated. All right, let's do. Uh... Sweet. I got my stuff. Yeah, let's. All right. So, yeah, I can send that to you. All right. So for your character, you'll now be level two. Add your hit dice, which was plus two. Was it two? Yeah. So plus two. And you actually you get key points and stuff now. So a lot of your abilities come online. So proficiencies, he has insight, athletics, and cook utensils. Where that was his proficiencies. Unarmed defense, plus your dex modifier. Martial arts, key. Yep, key. Second level. Okay. So starting at level two. So now your character um, at level two. Allows you to harness the missing energy key, allows you to urge you to represent the number of key hit points. Your monk level determines the number of hit points you have. Spend points to fuel key features. Knowing three such as Fury of Blows, Patient Defense, and Step of the Wind. Uh so you have to imme- so Fury of Blows would be immediately after you take an attack on on your turn, you can spend one key point to make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. That's nice. Just straight up to attack them if they hit you. You can spend a key point to take the dodge action as a bonus action. To tr- Okay. And you can take a point to disengage or dash. So that's all good. Fury of Blows, though, that's probably going to be your primary one. Yeah. It's, it's I mean, just... It, it, it lets you punch three times a turn. Yeah. Okay. And you can do that twice per combat, I think. Right? Uh, as long as you have key points. Yeah, so. based on how many. It'll tell us how many you give. I think it's more than that. I think it's, is it two, um, one per level? I think it's in the chart. Yeah, it'll say, it's kind of weird how they write it versus how they show yeah, it. Two, yeah. Two, two key points at second level, three. It's basically one per level. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, just one per level the whole way up. Nice. Uh, you can move an extra 10 feet now. Um, okay. So you're fast. So instead of 30 feet, you can move 40. Um, at ninth level, you're going to be able to move along, uh, like run up walls and like run on water, basically, which is crazy. Okay. All righty. And then let's go to your sheet now uh yeah key points to 
Um, I don't think you have spells yet, but those Furia blows stuff. And it it says on your character sheet, it'll say what they do. Um, yeah. and we don't get modifiers or anything yet to points. You have. Oh, it put in his modifier. It says he has 17 hit points now. What? Did, did I do it wrong? Hang on. Let me go back. Let me check something. You're at 9. Yeah, 17 sounds like it either took the average or it took the, the max. So you may have to... Uh... He was at 13. Yeah. Well, he was at 9 and I just added 2 and hit apply. So now it's third. Okay. Oh. And so when it comes to the, um, when we get to level three and everyone has like lots of cool stuff happening, because like three is a big, big deal for yeah. a lot of people. Um, just remember, you're not just limited to like player's handbook. I mean, you can, there's, there's all kinds of stuff out there. Why is it? Why? Yeah. Why is it saying he's 17? Is it? Uh, even after I lowered it and fixed it, because I did just plus two. And it went, it jumped like four, gave him an extra four. Um. So it's, he should be at, nah, uh, he went from eight, he should have been at 11. And so now I'm going like, I'm trying to figure out. It was, yeah, it should, should have gone from nine to 11. Yeah, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to. Here, I'll just lower it, I guess, by that. I'm just curious now if I click 9. All right, now he's at 9. If I go it up, still has him at 17. Because mine did it right. Mine kept it. Mine added my thing right, I think. Did it? It didn't. No, mine's off too. I'm actually still seeing nine here on this. It says he's a level two monk with nine hit points. Well, that's because that's not a direct link. That's his to the one I sent you. Is it? It's showing him level two, though. Okay. Yeah, I did manage HP, and now I'm trying to lower it. Oh. Override HP. Here we go. Let's just do... 11. Why? There we go. Okay. Why... Is it still showing 17? Even after I did override. Can't manage HP. Hang on. Apply. Next, 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 next. You all character sheets. Maybe I wasn't saving it. There's a high chance I wasn't saving it. Let me try it now. Still 17. Okay, even after that. Uh, I don't know what's why it's doing this, to be honest. Everything else is there. What did it do? Yeah, my character's off too, though. 11. My care. You see eleven? I see eleven now. What do you see? My character say? Does mine say twenty? Thirty-five. Yeah. Why is mine thirty-five? It should. Uh, you should have been thirteen to start. I should be twenty-six. You have twenty-six. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Fixed HP is. It says that sixteen. I don't know why it says 16. So let me go down to the HP modifier. Max hits points 22 now. Because 2d10 plus 2. Plus 4. Apply. Next. Okay, I think I fixed it. Okay, I fixed mine. Okay, okay. Now John's is... I figured it out. Yeah, it was being weird. Okay. So I just do this. Apply. The 
all right i fixed it it was being i i was misreading how it how the website did it all right uh the uh, the wild shape nice you get wild shape at level two i thought that was until level three so are you doing uh the one where you can do like up to i think it was cr2 okay okay so you're not doing what is order of the moon i think or you're doing the order of land or whatever forest mounted order of land yeah order of Yep. Got it, nice. Got it. That'll be fun. I need to get. Yeah. Yeah, moon druids have like some interesting power spikes if they go that route. Yeah. They're Although beast at level two, and then around like level six or so, it kind of peters off a little bit, and then it picks back up later. And a wolf's a giant wolf spider, boar, blah blah blah. What level do you have to be to be a bear? We all know this. Can we be a little bear? (laughs) I mean, there's basic bears that... A koala bear? I mean, we already have a koala... We already have a koala bear equivalency in the party. Uh... So... One fourth your size. So when you get to like yours equal to your size, then you can be a bear or half your size, maybe technically. No, no, no. one one fourth challenge rating. Oh, uh, what is a bear in challenge rating? Is that a one? Um, is that a one? Well, it's probably a one. It depends on the bear. A small bear. A. <laughs> yeah. Get the monster manual up here. I'm fairly confident that there's bear is one half, one half. Eyes, yeah. So next level, bear time. All right, catchphrase, which you didn't say when you struck lightning. I'm. I'll edit it. In catchphrase. It's okay. We'll edit it in post. Well, good evening, boys. Well, hello there. Hello, hello. It is uh, red. I was like, I had to remind myself whose voice this was. I was like, who is this? Well, you haven't seen me in what two weeks, so yeah, you're not gonna remember my voice. Yeah, we were we just finished our D and D session. Oh, well, fun! Who died? <laughs> me, pretty much. Almost, almost. I didn't die, but it was um. I kind of uh so long story short, uh I pulled a Pippin from Fellowship of the Ring and we ended up fighting things we weren't supposed to fight for several levels at level one. Uh Okay, so you killed the entire party and somehow you are the only survivor. <laughs> no, but I well, I mean they didn't have a cave troll or, uh, or a bulwark, but I, I, I woke I I woke the nest of things we weren't supposed to be fighting uh and then our own um Ela slash bronson he brought the house down by causing a cave-in so we were able to escape um uh, but yeah like those enemies had a lot of health, health hit points like I hit the first large spider and I critted it and then had a hit with max damage and it was still like shrugged it off and we're just like oh dear <laughs> but oh dear yeah but hey if if you want to join us sometime you are more than welcome to we play about twice a month sometimes more i love to play i just need to know when and what time it's typically s- Every night, every time we play it has been a Saturday. It's typically Saturday afternoon, early evening. For, on average, three, 
hours probably is our average. Okay, then it won't be happening. Yeah. But maybe one day. But, but I'll listen to whatever happens to you who dies first. And... <laughs> well, on um, the good news on that is this is uh rec is I'm gonna put out like an edited recording, so you can always be like, oh, watch it later. Fun stuff. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, nice. Fourth level. So two more levels and the bear will be here. Sweet. So we're going to be dealing with a black bear, a polar, or a grizzly? Um, 